if you didn't have that balance, that emotional balance, how mm. were you able to give that to your children as, as as they got older? That's a good question. So for <clears throat> for me, I just think it's just the grace of God how I'm wired. Mm-hmm. I just remember how things made me feel, mm-hmm. and I don't ever you want didn't to want to be like that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It shells and lingering, and I'm talking. mad. We ain't talk. Yeah, bro, that I shit hate the that worst, shit. bro. And it's I want to hold you. I want to grab you. You know what I mean? I want to hug you. We not talking. We mean. I don't like that shit. Yeah, that shit is not cool. Disagree with Life that is too bit. short. I disagree with the um the eggshells thing. Like the kind of person that I am, say a problem arises, we sit down and try to talk about it. Nine times out of ten, you're not going. You know, what I'm saying, get to a solution the first time you talk about. That's it. true. So That's sometimes true. it's cool to not say nothing. Say the dirty yours because your pants are sagging. Yeah. You get the fuck you might out of here, point, bro. Guys. But the shit sounds fire. Right <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Buster's okay. cadence is fire, fire. Yeah. but he don't be saying yeah. shit, yes, bro. He does. It Yo, was just Buster's that song not, where he was fucking around on it. Apparently, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, then, give me a song where he really supposed to be getting that. Stop right. story. He gave you, he gave you a little, you know what I'm saying. He gave you something. Fuck, Look, check this out. Flavor in your remix. What are you talking about? The flavors in your ass grease. Fuck about to make the noise no cease. Yep. Let me loose from, from the, the belly, belly of the beast. Ah, everybody, hey, 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 but listen, but listen. They trying to shoot like, them bell. I ain't no, shooting no, no, any no bell. Kids. Yeah, they just signed to Mary J. Blige. Man, they annoying me, dog. Why you say because they sound just like boys and men? Because it's just a bunch of them, and they all do their head like you. Know, <laughs> Like that shit got my nerves, bro. Like, all right, y'all sound like your daddy. You great. They look just yeah. like him too. Like, they God, look just like him. They all sing. That's what you don't like. They all sound oh, like him. God. Them niggas can sing though. They can definitely they can, sing. They can. This episode of the Art of Opinion podcast is brought to you by SGOD Home Improvement. Yeah, man, man, what's good, man? What's good? What's good? Welcome to another episode. Before I do the introduction, I'm just going to let y'all know that I am in a very toxic, stressed, <laughs> bitter mood. So Word. all my, everything I talk about is going to be, I'm, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's going to be negative. You hating the day? What's man, yeah, what yeah, the problem? Day, What's man. the goddamn issue? I don't want to, I can't day, get into bro. the details. They're going to be hating you. Yeah. But <laughs> I'm not Come on, the best man. of moods. Oh. Welcome to another episode, <laughs> Art of Opinion Podcast. You know who it is. Drain the building. Mr. We got, of course. Mr. No Feelings. You know what I mean? Whenever we can catch up with him, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. Whenever we, well, I'm Mr. No Feelings today. I'm telling you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you I'm telling you. Uh, I learned a new word today. It was called, um, damn, I, I thought I learned it. Damn, you forgot. I gotta, yeah, I gotta look at my phone. I learned a new word. I gotta look, I gotta look at my phone. I don't even know where my phone is. I, I gotta look at my phone. Where I put my phone at? But I anyway, shit. I got to be the opposite. Yeah, yeah. Yo, I, I got to be the voice of reason today with whatever. What is it? Cat, cast falling, nast falling, or something like that. I can't remember what it is. Cats falling, cast falling. I can't. Where's my phone at? Bro? Is this something that you were doing to someone, making <laughs> someone feel? No, or what, is, no. what is going on? Like, no, no, is it like no, gaslighting? No. What, what have you no, been doing, no, bro? It means for it means to be distressed. It means to be fucked up. Right there, see, see what I'm saying? You all discombobulated, bro. We all are, cause you could have seen. You was right there beside it. I ain't gonna let you do it to us today, y'all. Huh? I ain't gonna let him do it to the, pro- yeah, the, uh, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the positive today. brothers. I'm bitter well, today. Well, well, let you do it. well, this is what I'm this is what today. black men come together for. We must help this brother today, Dre. We gotta we gotta be the voice for him. There we no gotta help. walk him through this. There yes. is no help, and let him know this is a safe space. Uh, and he's steady, huh? My there is no there help. is no help. Well, he's man. negative right now. It's over with for the brother. He's man. negative. It's <laughs> over with. You know? It's over with. He's knocking over lighting. So the word is he, called crestfalling. Crestfalling. Yeah, and it means sad and disappointed. So that's what you are. Yeah, I'm saying it's <laughs> we gotta bring him out of that state today. <laughs> I'm talking about some safe space. I'm laughing at it. Again. I'm very, cre- right, I'm very, crest- Why are I'm you very crestfallen. We'll get into that, man. Okay, we'll get into, right, we'll right. get into that. Anyway, you know what I mean. We appreciate y'all watching the show, man. What's going on? How was y'all weekend? What's good? What's good? Uh, my weekend. Uh, it was cool, man. I chilled in the crib, like I said. Well. I just moved to a new place, oh, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, I cool, chilled in the cool. crib, man. Enjoyed, to that. And thank you, thank you. Enjoyed my space. Mm-hmm. You know, I like to be to myself. I'm a very introverted young yeah, man. So, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm cool, you yeah. know what I mean? Well, I had a good weekend, peaceful. Well, yeah, I wasn't well, crestfallen. You got to teach me how to do that because it looked like that's what I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be into. <laughs> Look like that's the life I'm headed to, you know no, what I mean? No. Yeah. We're not going to speak that into <laughs> no, the no, 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 no
man. It's all right, man. We're going to walk you through it, man. We'll get yeah, there, though. We'll niggas, get there. niggas done drove me to drink again. Uh, yeah, all as soon that, as you man. said hungover, I'm like, huh? I thought it was yeah, on some, man, I had, some cleansing shit. So, last night, you know what I mean? Going through something. Hey, call my friends out. Call my circle, my, my besties out. You know what I mean? Okay, a bunch of right. chicks, you know what I mean, that I hang with. You know what I mean? Some of my, you know me, Of course, some of my best friends are women. You mm-hmm, know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I want to talk about that too because I heard some shit that I, you know, what I mean that I wanted to cover as well when it comes to that. But right. yeah, call my besties up. You know what I mean? That, that sounds kind of crazy me saying that because that's you know. <laughs> Can men say besties? No, you can't. But let's keep going. I'll let you have. I'll let you fourteen. I, I, I want you to feel. I want you to feel safe. Look, look, so go I'm ahead, going bro. through something. Yes. So everything I say, I don't. Man, go I, ahead, I just don't give a you fuck. You've been fourteen today, for a long. I don't time. give a fuck today. Do your thing, brother. Good. But yeah, I'm just out with them. You know what I mean? You know, mean you know some shoulders to cry on and all that kind of shit. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. I was like, man, you know what? I got to drink tonight, man. I need to get loose. You know what I mean? I need to get loose. You know what I mean? And I just, it was double shots of Henny everywhere. You mm. know what I mean? Oh, you yeah. went, some, you some, went some white guy, Some white guy just pulled up. He must have knew I was going through. We sitting at the table. Some white guy pulled up with a bunch of shots. They was good as shit, too. I don't know what they was. I can't remember what they was called, but we had like two or three of those. It was like, oh, man, it was it was a wild night. Okay. It was a wild night. You know All right. I mean? And then, and then we, we sitting there, and then... Just I just looked up and I just noticed all the youth. Like if if I'm in a spot and I got more beard than everybody, and I got more beard, bit more of a beard than everybody in there. I know it's time to go. Mm, <laughs> it was too much youth in there. You know what I mean? It was young as shit in there. Like damn, yeah, it was young. Nah, yeah, nah. It was young. It was some wild youngest. They in there with shorts and shit. You know, it was a nasty rainy night last night. Oh, they in there with shorts and shit on. I'm like, nah, I gotta get out of here, man. Yeah, I gotta get out of here. Yeah. Got me a couple more. Joints and then we got new money we today. Yeah, we scattered. But I had fun last night. Yeah, bitch. yeah, it was it was it was good. Night. <laughs> and I haven't been out in a while. You know what I mean? So I, you know, hitting the streets every now and then is not bad. All right. So I mean, we get into it or we ain't getting to it. I thought it was more to it. Like you know, you was talking. You was you had to get your friend group together and talk about some things. Cry on the shoulder. No, no, no. I don't want to get. Okay, well, okay, okay. Well, let's well let's move forward. We'll we'll see what happens in maybe in the next pod. All right, okay. Yeah, maybe because we got to still. It's in the it's in it's still in a phase. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not ready for the transparency. It's still it's still in a phase. Yeah, man. I don't I don't want to do that. You know, this is funny. I'm holding hope that maybe things will change. You know, it will. But you know, but I don't know. It will. I hope so too. Who knows? But I mean, nah, I don't want to talk. Okay, about that. <laughs> okay, we won't. Do I'm it. feeling like you when we don't want to talk about your. I, I see why now you don't want to talk about. Oh, your oh what, what do you mean? Yeah, yeah what do you saying, mean? Yeah, sir? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. How, you know how when you come in here and we yep. try to see what's going on yep. with your, your love life and everything, and I'm just and, dodging. Yeah, 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 yeah. Barry Sanders, yeah, like yeah. you know, what I mean, real Barry Sanders, yeah, like. Well, that's yeah. good. That's good. I'm glad I got something now. <laughs> I'm glad. Mm-hmm. You got something? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Yep. What, what's going on with you? That's what I got. Oh, oh shit. I thought you were saying, yeah. I thought you said you had a friend, you know what I mean? Yep. You wanted to, you know, shout out or whatever. Nah, so what I was talking about was a, a, a Twitter situation. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You see how I just moved? You see, that's yeah. how you do it. Barry Sanders. So, look, uh, I do want to share this. Let's let's just switch gears because mm-hmm. we ain't getting nowhere there, right? Yeah. So, off the accident. I woke up. Please, thank you. I woke up <laughs> to a Twitter situation, X situation. Not an X, like an X. Everybody still X. call it Twitter. Twitter right? Everybody still call it Twitter. So uh, I don't, I don't, no, I don't have nobody. I'll never hear nobody say, "Yeah, I yeah, was X." Yeah, nah. Yeah, did you see that? That X. Yeah, nah. Yeah, that's some bullshit. So y'all know my son committed to West Virginia, right? Mm-hmm. So oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Congrats, yeah. Thank congrats, you, congrats. I didn't know that. Congrats. Give him a shout out. Give him a shout out. Uh, nah, I'm not gonna do that. Yeah. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> we just say shout out number five. I'm gonna yeah, shout, shout out, out shout number out five. five. Good school, you know what I mean? Boy. You know what I'm you know it's a reason why yeah, I'm not yeah, gonna do yeah. it. But check this out. So okay. I get on Twitter and I notice that, like, my son is an introvert. He's not a real social media guy. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's a lurker for sure. He sees mm-hmm. everything, but he right. don't say nothing. So I'm assuming that. Maybe the school or whatever say, hey, you know, you committed, go ahead and post it, mm-hmm. whatever, because that's they, they're big on social media, yeah. and honestly. So he posted things saying committed to West Virginia, blah, 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 blah. Now, I had a graphic done for him showing his, that he's been committed. Just mm-hmm. a picture of him. I seen it. Yeah I, yeah, I seen it. Now, I got two done. The first one, the guy sent back, he had the name wrong. It said University of West Virginia. Mm-hmm. It's not University of West Virginia. It's West Virginia University. University uh-huh. So he sent me the wrong one. We noticed it. I asked him to send the correct one. He sent mm-hmm. it. Cool. So my son does his post. He put the wrong one up. Oh man! Now, as a fan, you know fans are cra- like you oh, a Tar Heel fan. They tore his ass mm-hmm. up. Y'all are. Fans they are, tore his ass right, up. Bro. Oh, I'm going God, through the comments oh, this morning. It's starting off crazy. I've seen 
University of West Virginia? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they going crazy. Yeah, that's then they crazy. Start, yeah. So now I'm like, okay, this is a learning thing. Mm-hmm. I have to be prepared. <clears throat> he has to be, like, we mm-hmm. all got to be prepared. Now it's into three D1 schools recruiting him. He sucks. It's all of this. Really? They had his name. Oh, they went crazy they, on him they like They going that? crazy. Right now. So I'm like, all right. This is a part of it, though. Yeah, this yeah. is a part of it. He got to get used to it. Cause. So he ain't even out the bed yet. He don't mm-hmm. even know. So I guess I'm just going to be like a, uh, I'm I'm PR mm-hmm. basically. So right. I'm looking at this. I'm like, all right. So oh, the, the 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 West Virginia outlet that put out the the picture. So I, <laughs> he posted the picture. Then the West Virginia uh, sports outlet they posted the picture mm-hmm. too. So I sent them the correct picture. I'm like, here you go. Mm-hmm. Through his fan page. You uh, know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm trying to do cleanup, man. But yeah, he going to learn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he going to learn. He going to turn him out. <laughs> Those fans going to be on Yeah, his. they on his ass. But that, I mean, that's, yeah. that's a good learning curve. Because yeah. that's, that's a good way for him to see how it's going to be. It's a because, part of it. You yep. know, he got to be when he have a good game. You know, if that's the thing we talked about before. Like with, criti- with criticism. Like you, if you got to be able to. T- if you can if you can accept the good criticism when, mm-hmm. when you have a good game. You got to be able to accept the, the bad criticism when you. When you have a bad no, game, so, yeah. you know what I mean, and, and you know it's going to be bad games. You know what I mean. I ain't seen nobody never had a bad game. Yeah, so, I know. mean I've never had a bad game, but that's <laughs> not that's yeah. not that's not neither here nor there. What I'm saying is, <laughs> I have to learn how to be prepared for this yeah. as well because I'm a very like I don't I'm I'm observing. I don't say much. Mm-hmm. I'm you know what I mean, but. Just to see people at your kid, you just automatically I won't go. I, it, it so been, I have to know, like this space, that, that don't work for. I don't space, know if right? I would have been able to be that humble because it would have been a fuck you on every comment. Yeah, yeah, but, but see, but so I'm F you. No, right. it's you don't F want university. Like right. that, though. Fuck university. Right. F you. At but university. But I'm nigga, thinking. I'm saying. thinking moving like so. He ain't even got his foot all the way in the door yet. Mm, I'm dealing with. Let's not start like that with his. Oh, look, his his uh his family is or whoever this is mm-hmm. in his corner. Look at how they act. You know what I mean? Because they'll start it's microscope start and stuff like that. that. Yeah. Oh, yes. his father must be. Yeah. Or look at you know what I mean? Look at his dad's dumbass Baltimore right. hat. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. Like then they gonna go into my life and start looking at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slow down. Relax, everyone. It's a lot of laughter. I don't see what's. Funny. I gotta laugh away the pain. Yeah. Uh. I got to yeah. laugh away the pain. So that was that was my that was my morning. I'm like, okay, yeah. I got to do PR, all right? Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know I mean? God damn. But oh, it ain't over with yet. No, oh, no. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully <laughs> though, he uses it as uh, motivation. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Maybe to I'm going to suggest for him like during the season. Just we ain't on that at all. Right. Uh, After the season, then you can look and see. What he going to have doing, it. I don't want him to be on. I mean, of course, curiosity. It'll be something else next week. Like, you know, you know yeah, for sure. It, it'll change so. soon. As soon as he get on campus and start jumping in them girls' DMs and they, they see what kind of study. Nah, he ain't That's going to change that. He ain't doing that's going to change that. Soon, <laughs> soon as the DMs start lighting on fire, it, it'll change all of that. Yeah, <laughs> nah. they're going to be, they're going to love him again. It's, it ain't going to take long. Yeah. It ain't yeah. going to take long. As soon as he throw that first touchdown, that's it. <laughs> so it's over. It. Yeah, it's we'll over. see. Even, even in this, like, I, I ain't really. I don't know. I just I know how I am. Mm-hmm. Like I go back and find and look and dig. So I just know. I just you know what I mean. I just want anything that's connected to him. I want it to be mm-hmm. on open up because I know what's coming. Yeah, I know, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. Could you imagine how it was? How <clears throat> how if if Twitter was around when we was young? Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> so I think what kind, of, what kind of fucked up comments you think you would have got in any sport or anything? Just period. You know what I mean? If if, if when you was young. If Twitter was around or or social media in general, probably just greatness, man. You think so? Just greatness. You think you would have got praised? Yeah, just greatness. I would have got <laughs> trash. I know I would have got <laughs> fucking trash, John. You might would have been 50, yeah, 50 this, for me. This skinny, tall nigga, big for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Can't make a layup. All he want to do is dunk. That's all he can do. Dunk. That's all I wanted to do. Whenever I played basketball, mm. I didn't give a fuck about nothing else. I didn't care about basketball. I was a football guy. But Yeah, man. I didn't care about all of it. All right, so yeah. that's that's what I had going on. Man. Yeah, man. What was your, what was your weekend like, man? What'd you do? It was baby blue this weekend. Baby, oh my god! You know, yeah. I mean, that's all I really remember. Like, you know, I got my little boy. He was with me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Jameer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. By my side. Yeah. You, you he got some North Carolina blue. Oh yeah, yeah he, he got like North Carolina. Yeah, no doubt. Well, you, you one of those parents that you yeah, know what I mean? he yeah, better. Yeah. He your, better. Your child don't get. He a choice. He don't get a choice that he, it can be his favorite color or anything like that. You choose his favorite color for him. No. Huh? No, he can have his own. Mind. Is his favorite color North Carolina blue though? Um, nah. Uh, I think it's like red or some shit for turp mm. something. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He'll remember Joe Smith, so you know. So. Oh, he Hoosiers fan. 
Huh? What other red? Hoosiers. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's just his color. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, he's he's seven, so he probably don't even realize what it is yet. It's probably a different one every day. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? But man. he was with me though, you know what I'm saying, when you know, when we was baby blued up yesterday. Uh, well, sure. good for him. Good, good for him. Good for y'all. Good pretty, bonding. pretty good weekend. Good shit, bonding bro. time. Man. Yeah, I told you, y'all good dads, man. Y'all excellent fathers, man. I tried man. to be, you know, what y'all excellent fathers. It's not I easy. Be like y'all, man. I, I need to get like y'all. You know what I mean? I ain't spent no time with none of my kids this weekend. <laughs> Dude, you gonna be, be ashamed of your fucking self. <laughs> I don't even. I don't, see, even, I don't even think I, I, I don't seen, even like sitting next. To I don't you, even man. think I seen none of my kids, and I've been home every night. But I don't think I seen none of my kids since Thursday. Terrible. Damn. Yeah. Seriously, uh, they be in their rooms, be in their own little world. I hear them in the kitchen. You know what I mean? And I yell to them, make sure y'all clean up y'all mess, and that be the. <laughs> you want them bad? Yeah, yeah. Clean that yeah. shit up, bad. Yeah. All right, pull the refrigerator. All right, now. Make sure you clean that mess up. Oh, don't turn the Wi-Fi off here. Yeah, God damn right. I, hey, I, they already know. Ain't no warnings no more. <laughs> Ain't no warnings no more. They don't just click. That's when you hear shit moving. You know what I mean? Scrambling around. They like oh, the cats. Man. He said ain't no warnings no yeah, more. Yeah, I don't think I seen none of them this weekend. You know what I mean? They, I text them and talk to them and shit like that, though. They ask me, still ask me to take them somewhere or anything. Right like in the that. same I, house? Yeah, no. It's a bunch of no's this weekend. You hey, yeah, them in y'all, house? See, y'all just heard that. What? I, I mean, I text them. You know what I mean? I text them and stuff like that. But you in the same house, brother. Yeah. All right, I need you to do better as a father. Bro. <laughs> okay, you in the same guy. I don't bother house them. They don't bother me. Children. But you know, yesterday I left. I, I went to work yesterday. You know what I mean? Early in the morning, so I didn't get back. Probably I worked for like twelve hours. Just I was on the road for like twelve hours working <laughs> yesterday. Mm. And then by the time I got back, I was you know in a bad mood. So I said, you know what? I'm, I'm just going. You know, hit. I went to dinner. You know what I mean? With, with one of my homies. And then we hit the streets, and then that was it. And I ain't see, and that's the and that's the problem. Yeah, yeah I, that's the problem. Now, 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 now we just two that, three ish. That's, that's the goddamn problem. I came in about two three ish somewhere around. He's in the, look, listen, listen. You see your face because because you know he's wrong. He's he's, great. he's he's in the house with his children. He texts his children, but he wants to be out gallivanting, taking shots from a white man. That's what he's been doing. <laughs> Pause, because I ain't like the way that came out. Yeah, that was that was crazy. That yeah, that was yeah, wild. That was wild. That was wild. I ain't like that. My pocket. That was wild. Jesus, <laughs> dude, Damn, it wasn't that bad. Oh, I, I wasn't that fucked up. You know what I mean? I wasn't that fucked up. That's not the reason I'm hungover. I mean, I'm you did you that, say yeah, it was no. good too. I heard. No, I no, no, see. Oh, now that's that's I'll crazy too. Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. Matter of fact, take the whole tape out the Betamax. You know what I mean? Take the fucking VCR tape out. He and everything. said the Betamax. Yeah, you ain't got to pause it. Take the fucking tape out. Back in '73. I'm out of pocket. I apologize. I went too far. But yeah, man, you know what I mean? Yeah, I ain't seen him all weekend. But I'll see him today because I got to take one and take his girlfriend home. You know what I mean? I got one. You know what I mean? And then probably he going to go to work with me because I got some work I got to do before I go to work tonight. So you gonna just work, man. Him all just weekend work. And then turn him into a slave and shit. <laughs> oh, no. He make money. I pay him. You know what I mean? Pay and make slave. $30 an hour with me. Oh, I pay my children. I pay my kids good. You, know you need what I mean? some more help. Yeah, pay my kids thirty dollars an hour, but it's only for a, a, for for certain jobs. It's only for like a couple hours. Oh shit, that's sixty dollars. You know Still, yeah, you know what I mean. Two hours. You know, I pride myself in being able to pay my children more than anybody was ever to pay me. You know, oh, what I mean? not I mean not now because you know what I mean I make you know uh, on certain jobs, but like WalMarts. Whenever I worked at WalMart or any fast foods or anywhere mm-hmm. else I would work. I'm, I'm, I love being able to pay them more than any job was ever to pay me. You know, it gives them a lesson. That, you know, that's dope, man. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then they ain't got to ask me for shit. Hopefully, they strive <laughs> for more. I give them enough where they ain't got to ask me for shit. That's Dad, crazy. can you order pizza tonight? And then you just make sixty five dollars. <laughs> you order, order your own damn pizza, DoorDash. Yeah, you. you better order your own shit. You know what I mean? You got these kids these days. My kids got all. They all got Cash App cards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, you I know what I mean? Son, I pay my son every two weeks. So. Yeah, do you? Yeah, yeah that's he don't do no fucking job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, just, I mean, he's a good student. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. So I just let him focus on that. But I mm-hmm. definitely pay him every two weeks. That's good. No cut the I'm grass. Sure. No cut the grass. He ain't got no grass to cut. Take the trash out. Yeah, he do all that. Oh man, that's what's up. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, that ain't shit though. That's regular shit. Yeah. If your kids ain't doing no chores, I mean, something wrong. Mm-hmm. And my daughter chores. As soon as you can walk, nigga, you pick pick your toys up off the floor. <laughs> yeah, pick them. Yeah. 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 What's wrong with you? <laughs> Well, pick that toys up on the floor as soon as you can walk. Yeah, you done you know even I mean? get this plate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, look, put them right at the sink, washing dishes at three. Yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, but uh, anyway, y'all, um, like, we, I'm, I was just saying here thinking about like old shit for real, like how our parents raised us, how hard they was on us, and mm-hmm. how we turned out, and mm-hmm. then now we the same shit. Yeah. No. 
No, I'm not the same. Half? I don't. You ain't had chores when you maybe were a piece. Yeah, chores piece. when huh? you were yeah, I had, yeah, I was fucking goddamn <laughs> the butler, bro. Like I did every fucking thing. I'm talking about wiping baseboards, oh, walls, yeah, yeah, ceiling yeah, fans. Yeah, 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 yeah. bro. Like, That's good learning, right there. And yeah. let me miss one trash can. Yeah, oh, let man. me miss one trash can. Yes, yes. Punishment. Yeah, a month. That's good learning, huh? though, man. Bro, I a lived month? in a prison, bro. God damn. You understand what I'm saying? Shit. Oh, sheesh. I lived in a prison. I had I had perfect attendance in school. Because I love to just be out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't missing shit. I can laugh at my oh, pain shit, now, yeah, but yeah, I'm yeah. dead ass serious. So, bro, I had perfect attendance all through school because I love to be out of the house that much. Like, yo. fuck yeah. home, bro. I, I know <laughs> Straight me, up. I know me. I had that balance. Like, my mom was 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 loose. Like, I was able to run around and do what I want with my mom. Dad was a military dad. He was more strict, more mm-hmm. disciplined and everything like that. I appreciate having that balance of both. You know what I mean? Yeah, I had the same thing. For but real. do you do you feel like um, that your parents' influence on you back then made you the responsible person you are today? Would you change it now? I mean, of course you can. You're not gonna say I'm gonna change it now in hindsight. But would you want to go back and things be a little easier then? Do you think that you would still have the same type of discipline today and no. responsibility? Nope. I I, th- I think well for me, I don't think there was a healthy balance. I mm-hmm. got a lot of discipline, a lot of structure, mm-hmm. especially when I moved with my pop. Mm-hmm. I had a lot of that, but not a not a lot of the other side. You know what I mean? Oh, like you mean like the emotional side? Yeah, I didn't get that at all. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, man. Emotional side or just a, like I was always on edge. Like uh-huh. make sure I do things. It was never I could never relax. Oh, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I never yeah. had that type of mm-hmm. relationship until I got older, of course. Uh-huh. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I think it was too much that way. It was not, there was no balance. balance. Yeah, yeah, there was yeah, no yeah, balance yeah. at all. So I don't have like I don't parent that way at all. Mm-hmm. Now as yeah, far as structure you. and you know mm-hmm. all that, I I'm I'm more of a, an explainer. Mm-hmm. I give I give my kids the reasons yeah. why. This is what I want you to do, but here's the reason why. Yeah. This is why I'm asking you to do it. It just makes more sense. Because, you know, right. our parents right. sometimes used to be like, don't ask me no questions. Yeah, just, just do what the hell I tell you to do. Yeah. Just like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, damn, like, I can't ask questions? No. Like, right, bro. Yeah. <laughs> First y'all tell me no no, no, uh, 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 no question is a wrong question. Then you tell me I can't ask questions. Yeah, do so go to school. You ain't asking questions? Why you ain't asking questions? Yeah. Come on, don't ask yeah, exactly, nothing. Yeah. Mm. So if... if, if um, if you didn't have that balance, that emotional balance, like that side, how mm. were you able to give that to your children as, as as they got older? Like how how did how were you able to disperse that if you didn't experience that? Anymore? That's a good question. So for <laughs> for me, I just think it's just it's the grace of God how I'm wired. Mm-hmm. I just remember how things made me feel, mm-hmm. and I don't ever you didn't want to be like that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I and that's and I I still do that right now. How mm-hmm. I, I know how certain things made me feel. I know yeah. how I felt to. Want to say something, but I can't say nothing. Mm-hmm. I just gotta just internalize shit. Yeah. So I give my kids an outlet. I want you to be expressive, respectfully, mm-hmm. but I want you to be able to uh-huh. tell me whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's so, what's up. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, dope. Just, that's, that's dope. Dope. I had that balance too, for real. Like my mom's was the um, the drill sergeant for mm-hmm. real. You know what I'm saying? And my dad was the cool. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. So you um, had a balance like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got <clears throat> I got love from my grandmother mm-hmm. and my aunts and. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you had, so like, you had, you all, had all around. Village, yeah, you had right? all around. Yeah, that's yeah. dope. So yeah. I got the the love over here, but in the back of my mind, motherfucker, you, you yeah, know what I'm yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, you yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? So, so that's 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 a village right there. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't have no village, bro. I was I was on a I was on an island. I was just, on Alcatraz, just right? home. Uh, Alcatraz. Damn. Do you think that affects you as far as like? Um, and I don't want to keep going back to that. Do that's you think cool. that affects you in your love life in a certain way? Why you so stoic now, the way you are? Uh, Do you feel like you're a stoic, more like more a stoic individual, like a stoic guy? I think that uh, I think I've went through phases. Of mm-hmm. course, being so isolated and not allowed to do a whole lot of shit. Mm-hmm. As a, you know, I had a period when I definitely wild up mm-hmm. for a, a few years, and I think that <clears> if I didn't go to the military, my life would have been way different. Oh yeah, I feel like I would have kept going down that path of. Just freedom in the street, mm-hmm. outside. Just around, like, yeah, I was yeah. just rolling, and yeah. I and I think if I didn't, like I tell my daughter all the time, you saved my life because I don't know where I was going. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. I was still in school playing ball and all that, but after sc- I'm outside. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. So if I didn't have my daughter, I don't. I never would have joined the military. Mm-hmm. I never would have got that what I needed from them to be able to be straight. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's, right. dope. that's dope. That's dope. Shit, that humbled me too, kids. 
Yeah, for shit sure. out me. <laughs> I mean, I was still running around wilding, you know what I mean, the, by the third, fourth one maybe, you know what I mean? But when it when I, but I think <laughs> with the, the boys third, because <laughs> with my boys, you know what I mean, my boys, they was wilding, you know what I mean, and I was very I was very heavy disciplined on them. Dre no, you know what I mean? Yeah, Dre no, like exactly. they push ups, you know what I mean? I try mm -hmm. I put my hands on them when they when I needed to, you know what I mean, anything like that. But mostly all I got tired of doing that. I was like, I don't wanna be abusing you feel like I'm abusing y'all and then you know the government was cutting down on shit like that you know what I, mean? I ain't never really, seen it it was really you know what I mean the day so I just started you know all right I can punish y'all a different way get on that wall you get in that uh that um, I used to call the you know that what they call the bicycle position mm -hmm. you know what I mean on that wall with them with the arms up you know what I mean that type yeah, of shit, wall you know? yeah give me some push-ups give me the, give me a quick give me a quick 25 yeah give me a quick 50 you yeah. know what I mean you know how many and, times I walked in the crib and seen that oh yeah get in that push-up <laughs> position I'll make them get in the push-up position and just stay there you know Yo, what yeah. Yeah. The first core, time I seen you know it, what I mean? The, the plants. first time I seen it, yeah. yeah. I walked in the crib. <laughs> LaBelle was in a push up position with tears running down his eyes. <laughs> it, but it, it seemed yeah. a bit abusive, but I felt like I it's had to. It's not abusive. Yeah. It's it's a way to discipline your kids without having to put your hands on them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, like, I, I've never been a beater. Right. Yeah, That's yeah. just not. Was that a pause? That was that's borderline. That's borderline. That's a, yeah, that's I, borderline. I'm a beater. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I don't know. That's, that is probably, never yeah, yeah, put yeah, my yeah. hands on my kids. Uh -huh. Like that. That wasn't my go-to. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. more of a. I, I feel like my kids disappointing me is that hurts them more than anything else. If uh -huh. they know I'm disappointed or I'm let down by something. They like they don't want to do that, and I could be on the phone talking to either one of my kids. Mm -hmm. My daughter, twenty four, right now. If I'm serious and I'm talking to her, her whole demeanor is just like you know what I'm saying. Like I've never had to be like the dad or like nah, I don't need to do that. It's just yeah, my presence and, and who I am, and I and I command respect from them, and they respect mm -hmm. me. You know yeah, so. that's dope. That's dope. That's that's dope. Yeah, man. Like, let's talk about that though with discipline, like. No, we can get into that later. We can get into that later. Right. There's a lot more to talk about. Right. You know what I mean? Well, but yeah, well, I mean, like, you did say it. Cause no, we, I mean one more thing. Like my he kids, did, my, yeah, my kids, my <laughs> my kids, especially my boys. Mm -hmm. Um, they tell me to this day, like I'm so glad that you put me through what you put me through, because like you know, um, they like man, I can you know what I mean they see all their friends. Yeah, or all the people they used to hang with, kids they went to school with, they see what's happening with a lot of them. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And stuff, things that they involved in, and situations they involved in. Um, and they were like, man, I'm I'm glad I'm disciplined. You know what I mean? Um, not to be that. I know how to treat. They, they know how to treat women. You know, yeah. what I mean? for the most part. Um, and they just settle. You know, like they're not out there in the streets. They, they, you know, they don't feel the need. Even with, like, say, with cl clothes and shoes and shit like that. They always grew up and had decent shoes, decent clothes and shit like that. But they're not into. They're but not, they're not really into that. I be, they, I be looking at them sometimes. Sometimes I be wanting to cuss them out. Like, boy, what you got? What's wrong what with you your feet? On, yeah, yeah, yeah man, come on, man. They, they, Crocs, like dirty ass Crocs and shit, like the, yeah, everywhere. Man. You know what I mean? I'm like, man, come on, man. They playing basketball in them and shit like that. And Crocs, yeah, sport yeah. mode. They all do that shit. This nigga, <laughs> but, but look, when they put that little flap up, when they put that little flap up yeah. on the angle, that sport mode. I'm like, sport no. mode. I'm but like, that's man, a, anyway, that's a man. level of success to me. Like, I love that. Like my how my daughter is is and my daughter don't ask for nothing unless she absolutely has to. Mm -hmm. Where I see a lot of. Um, a lot of people's kids are even when they're well into their twenties, mm -hmm. like woe is me or like they just need help all yeah, the time. All the time. My daughter yeah. is extremely independent. Mm -hmm. Like so much to the point like I gotta kinda pick up on something like, yo, like, like I wanna step in and do something. And do something, yeah. You know what I mean? So I love that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um and like just to like my son at his age, when I was his age, like he's Ten times better than me. Mm -hmm. That's six, I'm. I feel successful in that. Uh -huh, like right. I love that so yeah. much. Like, Word. you know, what I mean, I just sometimes I just look like when I'm in the crib chilling by myself, mm -hmm. relaxing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just look at my kids like, man, they they dope, man. Yo, my kids is dope, bro. My oldest son, man, got got four kids, mm -hmm. and all of them living with him. That's dope. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. He doing good, man. Like. And he's been doing that from day one. Good. You know what I'm saying? When he when he got on his feet for real and, and you know, he hit the ground running. Mm -hmm. And he's really like uh a unicorn for real. Like mm -hmm. for him to be his age, like kids his age, you know what I'm saying? He's not a kid. You know, How old is he? Thirty. 
Yeah, you know what I'm okay. saying? that's still young. That's still right. young as shit. I didn't have my shit. Together I had my shit together when I was thirty <laughs> yeah. either. I'm gonna yeah. keep it real. You know what I'm saying? But for him to be thirty and you know all the accomplishments that he got mm-hmm. and you know the father he is and all that, like I'm really really proud of. Him for yeah, him. that's you know dope, bro. That's yeah. dads, man. Good dads all around. I'm the only piece of shit dad. Yeah, man. You <laughs> in the house texting your children? I ain't seen them since Thursday. <laughs> they lucky I ain't got. I Jesus thought about putting. I thought about putting the intercom system in the house for real. <laughs> Pushing buttons. Yeah, tonight. yeah. Because I gotta yell. You know, my house is yeah. yeah but and I'll Phone be having to yell. Up. I can't yell from my room and they hear me. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't. Phone them close. You know, but that's crazy. I can yell from my room and they can't hear me. But whenever they in the fucking kitchen or something downstairs, I can hear every goddamn thing they say. Hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. Like they loud as shit, especially mm. when I'm trying to sleep. Mm. Loud as hell. Like I can hear every little cup and spoon. <laughs> you know what I mean? Every <laughs> yeah. cup <cover> closing. <laughs> yeah. Just, what? just, just so negative, man. Like, boy, how many times you done ate today? Because God damn, <laughs> man, mm. shit. Look, they eat in the morning before they go to school. They eat at school. Yeah, twice. Eat lunch think, sometimes. Come yeah. home, eat soon as they get home from school. You know what I mean? And then eat dinner. That sounds regular. Yes. <laughs> like God, we didn't get that many meals. <laughs> I didn't get that normal. many meals when I was a kid. You got meals like that when you was a kid? I mean, I ain't gonna call them meals. But yeah, I'm, <laughs> I ate food. <laughs> I got. I had to argue to make a sandwich when I came home from school. <laughs> shit. Yeah. Oh well, shit. Yeah. You know, I had that too. Like, don't. did you eat lunch in school? <laughs> yeah. If that's what you call it, like that, you know what I mean? If it wasn't dry ass yo, pizza day yo, or something like that, three nuggets. Stuff. Some little three nuggets wasn't doing shit for my stomach. Three I was nuggets. A, I was an athlete too. Where y'all go around. to school at? Yeah, no shit. Three what? nuggets, bro. Well, five nuggets. Oh, okay. You act like did you get ten nuggets? I'm How many say nuggets ten, was it? Six, eight, maybe. Hey, some yeah, shit. It wasn't no eight. That, I ain't never had no went to school eight with nuggets me. on my tray. We Y'all was stealing some, niggas' nuggets. My lunches was Pause. the shit. Y'all was stealing them. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, we would trade off and yeah, shit like that. Yeah, fuck that. Nah, we had, my the school had five nuggets. You couldn't fit six nuggets on that little ass square. Little square? Where y'all go to school at? Well, he was in D.C. Yeah, he was in D.C. So he went to school. They ain't do oh, that no, shit. When I was in D.C., I was going to the carry out get my food. I wasn't, I wasn't eating that shit. He said it like well, he went, went to the same that shit. school. What school? What school? In D.C.? No, nah, I'm talking about the, oh, the, the nuggets. Yeah. Mesa Lane uh, food was trash. It was. The square pizza was fire, though. <laughs> Mesa Lane, fu- Mesa Lane sco- the pizza Helios. was The square pizza was fire. You Helios. Sometimes, and, and and people are, hold on, let's, 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 let's kill that myth right, that myth, that, that myth whoa, right whoa. there. Let's myth? Kill that myth right there. Okay, what myth? I'll be seeing posts where people saying, man, the, the pizza day was the best day in school and all that. That's bullshit because I remember getting square pizza in the middle of that bitch being cold. The rest of the cheese melted around that bitch in the middle of that bitch being cold. I, remember, I, I seriously remember that shit. Well, that's why you, that's why I, if I vividly remember us trying to get to lunch fast because you pizza. knew the first part of the lunch is good. I don't know. Maybe you got some cold, a cold batch, brother. Yeah. Y'all school I, suck. That's all it was for real. Well, I don't, Our lunch is the shit. He's allowed to say this. Is he allowed to say that? What school? This school. The ours, yeah, that was, that was kind of crazy. He can't yeah. say our school suck. No, no, he can't no, no, do that. Are y'all eating lunch like that? We used to beat the brakes off of Seaford yeah, every fucking yeah, day. Yeah, I ain't go to school. Wait, fucking Seaford. Where you go to school? Laurel. They got a school. I ain't never heard of Laurel School. Yeah, okay. What's the name of Laurel School? Laurel. What are they? Laurel what? The Laurel what? Y'all had a football team? Are y'all the Dragons? Bulldogs. Laurel had a football team? Oh, they are the Laurel Bulldogs. They you are. remember playing Laurel? No. I don't remember. What was their colors? Red, yellow. They red. Red and yellow, wasn't it? Red that's, a whole, that's a whole other state. Nah. Why would we play Why would we play y'all? Yeah, we don't play them. We play Delaware teams because we play Seaford. You play Seaford? We play Seaford. We played Milford. We played Delaware really? teams, yeah. I don't remember. When that. I played in school, we played Seaford, we played Milford. I don't remember. We played and, teams in Delaware. And when I played in uh, when I played in Mason's Lane, when I played in middle school, when I played football in middle school, remember when I'm in Mason's Lane, you could play well, football, football from seven school, to that's yeah, you played, yeah. yeah. That was before they even had, I don't even think they had Pop Warner at the time. No, it wasn't called that then. Yeah. We had we had we played full pad tackle football in seventh grade that's true. and eighth grade. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? And if you did good in the game when you went to school Monday, they would announce whatever you yeah, did. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, that's you know, and I remember right. when we playing Seaford, I remember us playing Milford. We played when we played Delaware teams, you know what I mean? Yeah, but middle school, but high school, I don't think high they, school, they didn't do that then. No, you no, high school states. we had, was in a certain class. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. High school was in a certain class. But yeah. I wanna say I'm trying to think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was I think it was only in middle school. What year did you come out of school? What year did I get kicked out of school? Whatever. Ninety <laughs> uh, <laughs> five, I think it was, ninety five. Ninety five? Ninety four, ninety five, somewhere around there. That's when you got kicked out? Yeah, like ninety five, I think damn. it was. No, hell. Yeah, it was. was 
No, it was yeah. like not like ninety four. Yeah, what year was you? Ninety six. Ninety six. It's not too far. Yeah. What year you graduate? Ninety seven. Yeah. yeah. So I was supposed to graduate. <clears throat> no, we was in the same class. Yeah. But I think I failed the grade too because I remember when I was in DC, I skipped God school damn. a whole year. I'm in DC, I, I ain't go to school for a whole One year. One day we're just gonna have a pod just about this man's life. We're gonna start from the beginning and we're gonna get through it. So. It might be like a three segment joint. <laughs> so it's maybe serious. It's been documented. That, like, I wasn't going to school then. You know? We had to we had to go through some of the toughest neighborhoods to get to school. And every which way we went to school. You had a hundred niggas this way, mm. and you had a hundred niggas this way. We was right in the middle of mm. everything. Montana That's Avenue, you know what I mean? All of that whole, you know, that whole area, we had to walk through there to get to elementary school, and it was crazy. We we had to go a whole nother way. We ended up stopping having to go across the train tracks. That's we found that way. We just go across the train tracks because we, you know what I mean? It just wasn't enough of us. It may be a pack of ten, it might be ten of us mm. going to school, and it might be a hundred of them. And I'm mm. talking about grown ass niggas. I ain't talking about like I'm talking about high school. I'm talking about niggas that should be in school and niggas that's out of school, been out of school for years. Fuck school. Man, Man we ain't had, I think the equivalent of that for us up. was <laughs> cramp up day, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah was, I, you know and I had experienced that, too. You know yeah. what I mean? I experienced that, too, when I moved to the shore. You know what I mean? Everywhere I went, people tried to beat me up, man. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like you're the common denominator, sir. Let's get to it. It's probably him. I'm better. I'm better. What'd you say? Crap laughing? What was it called? I forget. <laughs> and I was a little nigga, so I ain't just let people talk to me any type of way. I still talk shit. I was a little nigga. I still talk shit, and mm. I always talk shit to the bigger niggas. Mm. Why I talk shit? I don't know, because I felt like niggas, you know what I mean? I, I, I just didn't, I, I didn't want to be no punk, you know what I mean? Mm. I didn't want to be no sucker, you know what I mean? So, you know. I, I ain't. I didn't and I always, I'm going to fight. You know I, what yeah, I, mean? I didn't have yeah. a lot of I was issues. taught that if I had a problem for real, then, you know what I'm saying, when I see you, then you know what it is already. Yeah. We done already talked about it. And I ain't never start trouble for real. I talk my shit after punk might talk shit to me, but I never started trouble. I was never that person, you know what I mean? But trouble mm. always found me. You just ain't letting nobody talk no shit to you. Nah, I ain't. I let people get away with talking shit to me, you know what I mean? But it was like, after a while, you know what I mean? Like, fuck you, nigga. You know, when a nigga say, I'm going to see you after school and shit like that. All right, cool. We're going to you know, we'll see you after school. Oh, fuck, yeah. You know what I mean? You're going to see me after school, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, don't know. I, I don't know. I had a different mindset back then. I, I mean, I, I just was, I, don't know, I could be like, why? Like, I'm the class clown. I'm the funny. Mm. Like, what, what, what's the problem? I'm thinking that way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never, I had a few, I had a few fights in middle school. I was going to say, you ain't never put your hands on nobody? No, nah, I, I had a few, I had a few fights in middle school. Mm. My fights came like after, when I got out of school. That's when I, yeah, really, yeah, that right. fought more. That's yeah. when I really mixed it up. Mm. But in school, I ain't fight a lot, man. I, I was being from, being that I was from the city. I talked a little different at the time. You know what I mean. I had more of my DC accent at the time. You know what I mean. Before I started talking a little more proper. Don't kill me for that. You know what I mean. But <laughs> you was calling people. You was calling people Bama and shit. Oh yeah, all the time. Everybody was a Bama. They ain't even know what it was when I came when I came to the shore. They ain't know what that shit was. You know what I mean. And I, I talked different. Um, and I just and and it, they had this thing going around talking about those DC boys said they was gonna rule the school. You remember that shit? I don't, I don't think you remember that. Yet. I wasn't in that mix, bro. So we, so we walking home from school. I wasn't used to catching no buses. We didn't catch no buses back then either. At the time, they ain't had buses, but they was more for mm-hmm. the white people to take the white kids out to the white section, as they called it at that time. You know what I mean? I was a white kid then. You was in the white. You was standing in the white section. No, I, I got dropped off on Pine yeah. Street, but I'm. I oh, was that's bus fifty. That was that was yeah, bus fifty. That's AG yeah. bus. Yeah, yeah. that was bus fifty. But we walk home from school. Just us, you know me, my brother, my cousin, you know me. We walking home. All I hear was, "There they go, get them niggas." <laughs> <laughs> I seen my brother and them take off. You know I me. Mean? Oh, I'm sitting man. there like, "Nah, fuck that. I'm gonna turn around and fight." Man, they beat the brakes off my ass out mm. there. You know what I mean? All oh, y'all niggas talking about y'all gonna rule the school. This is like maybe second day of school that we, you know what I mean? We went to, we came down here. We went to school maybe the second or third day. I want to say, you know what I mean? And that was the second day, third day of school. But it was cool, you know what I mean? I caught a couple of them, fought them one-on-one, you know what I mean? And I got jumped maybe like a hundred times, you know what I mean, before they seen that, you know what I mean, this guy, he going to fight at least, you know what I mean? Oh, they'll jump I'll be, you. I'll be remembering. They'll jump you. They'll jump the shit out you. I remember, yeah. like, I'm that type. Like, I remember the ones who would be like that. Mm-hmm. And, like, even to this day now, if I say, like, I, I do things on purpose now, yeah. just to... You know what I'm saying? You get oh, what I'm saying? All them niggas see like, me. I might, I like, I'm not, like, it's nothing for, we ain't mm-hmm. not talking about nothing, but yeah. like, I might see them in a restaurant. 
Mm. I might walk by you just <laughs> so you can see what this yeah, is. Yeah, what it is. You yeah. know what I mean? Like I, yeah. I still, I'm crazy, you, bro. I still, I do shit like you that. got. Any, <laughs> you got any grudges that you hold from when you was young, For like sure. that from from school, bro? I looked up, I looked up a, a person that was a bully to me mm. in middle school. I looked him up just to see where he's at. Like that's how. Uh, bro, I'm 40 plus years old. I'm still <laughs> on that. Like, like, probably like a, all the bullies that was in school when I was in there. He locked up bum now. Bum ass niggas, y'all. He, <laughs> locked, he, locked, he locked up now, but I, yeah, I want to just, where, yeah. where, where, where is he? <laughs> just to, you know what I'm saying? All, yeah, I, ain't, I don't forget nothing. Yeah. See if you still a bully. All the so-called yeah. bullies that was in school when I was in there, they either, they on, they either on rock right now or they drunks or they he said piece rock. of shit ass niggas. Or, I don't forget bro. shit, bro. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm, but I don't hold no grudges. I don't hold no, and, and a, lot of, a lot of people that I got in fights with in school and shit, we cool as shit. Like we, we good. We think. like it, cool that's school shit. Fuck. Like that's school Man, shit. We you know what I mean? Yeah, we, that's school shit. You know, we party together and all that shit. Like that's, Yo, if you, it wasn't really no beef like that. You know, it was some school shit. If you mad with me from something that happened when we was teenagers, I wouldn't beat you up just for that. But, I mean, but <laughs> then again, but it depends on what kind of trauma that person might yeah, have to Because some people went through some trauma nigga, in school. That shit was forty years ago. Nah. Trauma is trauma, yeah. I'm trying to tell you. If you me in school. Like if you was like, what's one of those uh, cartoon bullies? Like, uh, what's the nigga that always trying to beat on Doug and shit uh, with the red hair? What's his name? I forget his name, but Roger. I know, I know what you're talking about. What's his name, Roger? If you like a Roger ass nigga, every episode, every episode yeah. you try to bully me and shit, that's trauma, yo. Yeah. When we it get is, older, right? I'm gonna beat you the fuck up, you know, when I get to that point, you know what I mean? Or I'm gonna bust your goddamn head, like Grandma used to say, pick up something, bust him in his head. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I'm cool with no. I don't think I'm cool with nobody that I ever. I don't think mm-hmm. we cool. I don't think so. I don't remember you getting in no fights. Put your hands on them that bad and shit. Man, I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't That's remember getting no fights in school. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I ain't. I ain't fight a lot in school. I think yeah. I had like two fights in school mm-hmm. while I was in school. Like maybe two, maybe. Mm-hmm. I mean, what, why would you want to fight me? Come on, yeah. man, it's me. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm a great guy. I always have been. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm the same way. Yeah. Come on, man. I fought everybody. <laughs> yeah, That's nah, why. I fought everybody. <laughs> everybody wanted to fight me. I don't know why. Uh, maybe I was an easy fight. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I fought everybody. Easy fight. Nah, yeah, it was. Easy, it was. It wasn't it was, easy. It was, nah, it was when coming easy. I like when once I got away from home and was out. In the, that's when I got in a lot yeah. of shit. Then yeah. that's when all my fights happened. When the last time you been in a fight? The actual mm. fisticuffs. Uh, actual fisticuffs was. Mm, Damn, almost 20 years ago. Me too. Yeah. 20? 20 years ago. It was like two for me. Two years ago? Yeah, somebody tried to steal my phone and shit. <laughs> shit, you beat him up? What? <laughs> you always in fights, man. Yeah. Duh, I don't, I don't want to fight I don't want to fight either, you know? I didn't want to fight I don't want to fight, I don't want to test my respiratory system like that. This <laughs> Until I get down the road and I can't find my phone. Listen. And then I come back and you round the corner and show yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah, I'm going to beat you up. Yeah, yeah I'm going to beat you up. I'm in the gym for health. Mm-hmm. And I I need a good minute and thirty for the inside. I got I gotta have a good minute and thirty on, on of cardio treadmill. for yeah, myself, yeah, right? Because yeah. I need that minute. Yeah, and 30. You need that, now yeah. after that, <laughs> I I can't promise you the outlook will mm-hmm. be good for me. Yeah. But that minute and thirty, I'm gonna get you. That's how most, how, <laughs> yeah, how, how long you. you think most fights last? Most fights don't go past two minutes. Man, minute and thirty. I got two that minutes. Fleet. You wind it like a motherfucker. Fight, yeah, man, like that's no, why I'm really? trying enough to get niggas off me. I, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I got enough to get get you up off me, bro. Yeah. I haven't I haven't been in a fight, an actual fight, in probably over twenty years. That's good. We too old for that shit. But I done put my hands on a couple of niggas. You know what I mean? Yeah, Just, I guess you know, he I didn't. I put my hands on a couple. He didn't fight back for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. he knew. It was so I don't count that as a fight. And then you put if you smack somebody or punch somebody and they don't fight back, I don't even count that as a fight. I you fight remember? Back, yeah. Remember when you was out um, Commons? Yeah, you came in with your shit. Yo. Brand, <laughs> but blood, brand new buddy, uh, bloody butters and shit. <laughs> Yo. Yo, my whole fucking hand, my whole thumb and hand and all of that it shit, was it was up, black. Yeah. For real. Like, I so you smack them, somebody. Oh my God, yeah. Yeah. So much violence, y'all. Y'all, y'all are violent. I so didn't know this about you guys. Y'all, I thought y'all was good fathers, this, but listen to all this violence. Safe, yeah, yeah, I this was a safe, safe man, situation. We're talking about old shit, though. Old shit. But you just said you right. just yeah, that smacked fight. someone that didn't fight back, so you're a bully. Yeah. That's, that's, I didn't bully? No, no. He approached bully. me. He, that, he, he, came, he walked up on me. You know what I mean? He walked up on me, and I just gave him one of those little, you know, you have a, like a wonder pump, like a... Uh, <laughs> and his head went back like this, and he... Then he started circling and shit, and went and got a knife or everything like that. Oh, oh yeah. Then, then, then we was at work. This, thing, <laughs> this, was, this was at the chicken house in Cordova some years ago. I was gonna say, where yeah, you was at, there. Purdue? Yeah, we, no, this was at uh, Allen Food in Cordova. Allen Food, yeah, 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 yeah. right on the line. Allen Food in Cordova, right on the line. He kept approaching me on some stuff. Thought I was trying. Me and his, me and his girlfriend worked in the same department. 
I guess he thought I was trying to holler at oh, her. Whatever, always, you know, always, yo, yeah. those sugar yeah. plants, y'all yeah, niggas yeah. boys. <laughs> and he walked up on me the wrong way. I guess he thought that I was just gonna let him walk up on me, and I just gave him a little. He, he the things changed differently for him, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he had to refigure some to shit refocus. out. Yes, yeah. <laughs> like, all right. Let me, let me walk what's that, what's that, what's my this, and this is a good segue. What's that Tyson and saying? Everybody got a plan. Until you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So we ain't had no problems after that. Though that I got is fired, a good segue because I got fired. Tyson but that's a good about segue. Fighting, yeah. Yeah. Tyson, I, Jake Paul. Bro, I don't, I don't. Hey, How yo. y'all feel about that, young? How I, y'all feel about that? I, I'm going to feel like this. Mike hold that thought, thought real quick. Hold that, hold that. All right, come on. We good. I hope they let him fight for real. It's going to be stipulations on it, bro. He, he He's would, not going to be allowed to do something. He would have fucked Roy Jones up, yo. Yeah, he could have. Yeah, I think they had the word thing. He could have knocked him out and some other shit. Yeah, no knockouts, no... Real hard, like they wasn't. It was just an exhibition. Yeah. Exhibition. You know I hope I mean? they let him fight for real, because Jake Paul think he be fighting. You know what I mean? He he ain't really fought nobody really. Tyson but. is fifty seven years old, man. and and you still see how he moving, right? We're talking about not wanting to be in fights in our forties. <laughs> fifty seven years, almost old. almost sixty years. He's old. He's a trained assassin though, but yo, I mean, still like you, you fifty seven years old. I don't want to see no fifty seven year old in the ring fighting. So this episode of the Art of Opinion podcast is brought to you by SGOD Home Improvement, your trusted partner for all of your home renovation needs. Are you ready to upgrade your living space? From seamless gutter installations to GAF certified roofing solutions, we specialize in turning your vision into reality. Whether it's a complete kitchen remodel or bathroom renovation, our team is here to make your home improvement dreams come true. Visit SGODHomeImprovement.com or call 571-275-7959 to schedule your consultation today. SGOD Home Improvement, where quality meets craftsmanship. Shout out to him. Shout out to my man, Vince. All right, we back on. We back on. You know, I'm a big fan of Joe Budden, the mm-hmm. Joe Budden podcast. So they got a segment on there called Sleepers. Yeah, Sleepers. So yeah. when they, they be playing some shit on there. If they introduce yeah. some shit, I'm like, oh, that's cool. Let they me look them up. They some shit on there. Yeah. So um, I, I, I might stumble across some shit like that. But mm-hmm. for the most part, anything new coming out of someone, dropping something new, I don't <clears> listen to that shit. You got bro. Spotify? Mm-hmm. All right, so... um. I got some new artists, you know what I'm saying, that still stick with the art. Hey, stop shouting these new niggas you know out. They're not paying us for no ads to be I'm advertising. Not, I ain't say nobody fucking name, did I? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I got some 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 new artists or whatever that that needs to be checked out for real. Okay, you know what I'm saying. So I'm saying I'm, it's gonna yeah, be like yeah, 1,500 sh- songs and shit for real. Yeah, yeah. just just uh or just share the link with me if you yeah, got you yeah, know yeah, yeah mm-hmm. just share the link with me and I I'll check them out. But from yeah I'm an R&B nigga dog. Yeah, I mean, I'm an R&B now. Like I know that I know some new, not even like I'm kind of like you with R&B, like the way you are with him, but like new R&B. Mm, them the ones yeah, I find yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, I find What's them. What's the bro. dude named October or something? Octo- October uh, London or some shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Fire, fire. He's just like um Marvin, yo. He that do, shit crazy, yo. yo. And and that kind of shit for real is is like what. R and B is to me, mm. you know what I'm saying. They, you can't find they don't have pure R and B no more, man. Like yo, I really like I like Ronald mm-hmm. Isley's niece, Alex Isley. Mm. Yeah. Fire, bro. Alex oh, I gotta Isley. check this out. Alex yeah, Isley, Isley, yo, them fire. Isley, them Isleys just don't stop, boy. They gonna have somebody singing some shit. Um, yeah, when I say fire, bro. <laughs> oh yeah, fire. What y'all think about uh, um, uh, Wanye? Um, uh, His he, kids. Yeah, they just signed the Mary J. Blige. Uh, a, a label, I think. Man, they're annoying me, dog. Why? You said because they sound just like boys and men. Because it's just a bunch of them, and they all do their head like you. Know, like that shit got my nerves, bro, man. Like, all right, y'all sound like your daddy. You're great. They look just yeah. like them too. Like, they God, look just like them. Damn, it's, it's like five images. one. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah it's mm-hmm. fitting in. And they all sing. That's what you don't like. They all sound oh, like them. God, them niggas can sing though. They can definitely they can, sing. They can I'm sing, just, I'm sick of them niggas, bro. <laughs> I don't want to yeah. see them niggas no more. Y'all stupid. Oh, shit. What's the girl that sound like um Sade and shit for real? I can't think of her name either. Who uh, talking about Snow Allegra? Snow Allegra? Snow nah, Allegra? Nah, she she dope too though. Like I fucks with her. She sound like Sade. Uh, she sound like I think I know who you're talking can't about think of too. Her name. Um Cleo Soul? Dua Lipa. You talking about Dua Lipa? That, that, that sound familiar. You talking about Dua Lipa? You might be talking about Dua Lipa. Oh no. Dua Lipa fire, yo. Cleo Soul sounds like Cleo a Soul bit. sound a little bit, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You must be talking about You gotta be talking about Dua Lipa Dua Lipa is fire It's, mm. it's a couple of Cleo new ones Soul, Dua Lipa. It's a couple of new ones You know what I'm saying But Snow I stick Allegra. to my You know like you said What I what I like For real mm-hmm. yeah. right, So speaking of Erica How y'all feel about her picture She posted Y'all like that With the ass Yes I do I mean the ass is fire I don't know the yeah, armpit yeah, yeah. Y'all go with the, the pit 
I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind. I'm grown. She, she I'm a grown ass woman. man. I don't like that kind of I'm shit. I'm a grown ass man. Way. I like natural shit, but I mean, as long as, as long as she ain't got no sweaty pits and you don't see, like, when she lifted up, she got the deodorant balls and shit like that. So you cool, with, you cool with Harry Pitt. All right. So Harry Pitt is cool. <laughs> if she lift her arm up and she got them deodorant personally, balls and shit up under there with the no, shit black. I'm not cool yeah. with it. You yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm not a you Harry Pitt. You don't like it? I'm not a Harry Pitt. It wasn't bushy. It wasn't like she had. I mean, but it was like Anthony Hamilton in the headlock. Real patchy. I don't know. It looked more like uh uh um what's uh what's the guy that just came back out um got the joint with Fabulous that he just came out with. Oh, you they know, was them and killing him because he got the he still got the braids but he got the ball spot right here. <laughs> I don't, I don't know who like that. him. Yeah, I don't know who you that know who I'm talking about. Um, sing a uh, uh, woman's worth. Oh, Jaheem. Jaheem, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like that's that's where the armpit looked like. It like little Jaheem. It was a little patchy. I would yeah. expect him yeah. to have a patchy. song with Jaheem. But, but if you know she if she got hair under the arms, you already know she ain't yeah, got she, that bush. Yeah, she probably you know that. Out, yeah, man. you know she got. Yeah, how you feel about the bush? I'm not. Can you do the bush? Nah, man. I'm not. A, I'm not I, a landscaper. I, I, could, <laughs> I, I I could do hers. I'm not a landscaper. Bro. For real, it's just not my thing. You I know could do saying? hers. But it's got to look geez. right. It's got to at least have some type of trim to it. It ain't got to be bold. Bold, I ain't going to say that because that would have been inappropriate. You know what I mean? But, <laughs> I'm glad you policed yeah, yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. That would have been inappropriate. That wouldn't have came out right. No way I tried to you say it. Yeah. Yourself, no way I tried to say that. That would have came out right. right. But, Good job. Um, I don't. I, it's got to be a little bit of something down there, like you know, landing strip or something. You know what I mean? I don't want to that, that shit is trash. What landing strip? Yeah, that shit. What the fuck is that? Why you gonna cut all your shit off but then just had that? Get that shit off of there, yo. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I guess it's what's the point of a goatee? Same true. thing. Yeah. Why I mean, not cut it really? all off? I'm just yeah. asking. I'm just asking. It's for the look, right? I'm a wide. I'm a wide. But that but, little thin but, ass line yeah, you got I mean, connected to your hair. So I guess it's for the look, I guess. It, it look good, though. I guess the strip is for the look. I don't know. That shit don't look good, though. No, I don't know. I guess this is a matter of opinion. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I don't, I don't understand the little yeah, teeny shit. I like it. I, I don't like, get I like it. it. I got, it's got to like be something it? there. It's for texture. It's Why do you like it? Texture. It just the look. Texture. You want to feel hair? The, the aesthetics. You like to feel hair? <laughs> the aesthetics. The texture. Texture. Hey, yo, listen. Check the this aesthetics, out. The aesthetics, huh? I'm going I'm I'm to keep it real with y'all real quick, right? I'm going to tell y'all why I don't like hair. Mm. Oh, my God. I was, I was, you know what I'm saying? It, you, with, it's hard to get out your teeth? No. Oh. Right. I, if you got hair, I'm definitely not doing that. What you oh, saying? No, I don't like it. <laughs> this is a little weird right now. I don't like it. But yeah. you know what I'm saying? Hair. Why though? What why though? He about to tell is us. it a perspiration thing? <laughs> he about to tell us right now. Is it a perspiration thing? It, uh, yes. It, hair makes you sweat. You know what I'm saying? That's uh, you know. I don't yeah, like sweat. I don't, 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 don't want to smell a sweaty I don't girl. Nigga said just dip your body in there. Yeah. Just dip your body. Ew. Nah. That shit stinks too, for real. <laughs> you ever mess with a girl and she had that chafe between her legs? Like that chafe? What the 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 tire marks, the black? No, it was like ashy looking. Like, <laughs> oh shit, no. <laughs> yeah, I ain't seen that. Before, I don't. I don't. I you know what I'm talking about? I've like, seen like, 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 the black. You know, from the thighs, thighs rub, the thighs rub together. Yeah, it's black. If, like, if they shave, if they shave and their thighs rub together, the hair is there to keep your skin straight. You know what I mean? If you shave and your thighs rub together, it makes it kind Some of. Some people yeah, probably cut the shit that. out of them for real. Yeah, I don't know. Everybody don't got that. I mean, it's okay a little bit. <laughs> it's said the texture. It's yeah, the texture. It's okay for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I mean. You know, I don't like it. Go ahead and clip you that like, you like you like her coochie to look like a sex offender face. Huh? <laughs> you like the gel in her yeah, face? Yeah, like, who thinks that way? <laughs> gel in her face. Baby no. says coochie. Why? Baby face says pussy. Huh? Why would you think of that? <laughs> Yo. I don't want. I don't like it bald. Every, I mean, it looks good sometimes, depending on uh, the shape and how it and who. You, you know can cut it off. Like just keep it manageable. Clip that, yeah, shorty. You know what I'm saying, keep keep it manageable. Clip it. Yeah, cut that shit off. It might be a while before I see any four. Anyway, let me leave that alone. <laughs> see, see what I'm saying? We gotta stay focused. We have to stay focused. That's yeah. been our. That's been our main goal today. Yeah. Trying yes. to keep him on the right track. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, he's trying to yes. fall off. He done fell off like seven, eight times. Yeah. But right. you know, I just I did think about it. Like, All right. how long after a breakup? Mm-hmm. Oh my god, is it okay for you to fool with other people, see other people, date, talk? It depends like, on it depends on the person and where you at, like where you are mm-hmm. after the breakup. Like if you were, uh, it just depends. There's no time thing on that. So no, it's, no, it's, no, it's no waiting period. It's I'll like, answer it. It depends on. Go ahead, you got it. It depends on what's your, what's your next goal. Yeah, mm-hmm. if the if door you, is yeah. If, no, what if, if I just want to go fuck? I just want to fuck. If you are 
if the in love with the person that you're leaving, mm. yeah, and and with hopes of you maybe know you you reconciling, you, reconciling. Yeah, yeah, I would. Yeah. I think it's a bad move if, if, if it's that. a yeah. But if what it's if, a what if you don't feel like no, have, but so you're gonna wait to see just to show the, the what, communication and the comprehension is what to tell you everything that you need to know, and then right, but you but you. You don't know if there's going to be reconciliation, mm-hmm. but if you know you want, if you want, that, yeah, the per- if you know you want that, like I put it on me. If I know I want reconciliation, it wouldn't be wise for me to go ahead and start just fucking like True. it just don't make sense. You know it how doesn't. many you know how many niggas wanted reconciliation, and when he went and knocked on her door, heard her getting reconciliation. <laughs> that's, 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 that's true. That's true. That's what I'm saying. That's, so, that's but you don't wait. Understanding it, and the yeah, comprehension. But you don't right wait. You don't wait it hoping for reconciliation. But that other person might not be waiting. All right, but that's that's still that's you. Though. You control what you yeah, control. They are who they are. Yeah. You 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 the only one that can make the choice of, of waiting. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like if she's telling you that she wants you to wait, but then she go do some shit like that. That's the understanding and the comprehension. But, see, so you, but, threw, but you, you, you threw something else in there. If she yeah. told you, yeah, if, this, nah, if, nah. This, if you making your own conscious decision, mm-hmm. like I'm gonna I'm wait, yeah. right? And then she goes, all right, well that's her. But you did what you wanted mm-hmm. to do for yourself. But that's that's a different different narrative than what I'm talking about. What all I'm right. talking about is if you you and you heard it before. I'm pretty sure y'all experienced before. You seen somebody break up. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Right. You seen somebody break up, whether it be a marriage or relationship or whatever. Or not you seen people break up, and then you hear them saying, "Oh, that nigga, he oh he with somebody else already." Yeah, you've seen that. Yeah. Why am I required to wait though? I don't know if that person is waiting. Why do I have to wait? Why can't? Why? What if that helps me move on with my life? I mean, you, you, you're not. You feel reco- what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. But you're, <clears throat> you're not required to wait. But that's also some dickhead shit too. Like it's some res- to, it's a to help thing. you move on. To, to help you move on in your life, you're using another body. That's kind of fucked up. For the yeah. person you're using, especially it, if she thinks that it's gonna be something that comes out of y'all fucking around now. Like, yeah, some yeah. people don't fuck with you just to, you know, what I mean, he just some, some dick. Some people want, you know, what I mean, to be with you for real when mm-hmm. they start fucking with you. Yeah. yeah, and then then you go back to her and be like, oh man, you know, I'm gonna get I back mean, with with the other one. You know yeah, what I'm I, I, I've My seen bad. I've seen situation I've seen it where you know like you be like damn they moved on kind of fast mm-hmm. but that's just my opinion and how I would move that doesn't necessarily mean that they moved on fast yeah like, that's true. You know it depends mean? on the person yeah, for yeah it, all this shit like, is you know you know that's true I mean I mean but how y'all feel like how how long do you feel that the is the opportune enough time to wait uh, to see if you're going to reconcile I mean again it's it's to each zone like if you leave a situation or y'all amicably split or well, however y'all mm-hmm. split if you have hopes for that relationship it mm-hmm. would be who of you not to just jump out here to be fucking just to be fucking yeah, 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 like that just yeah. don't make sense and we not kids no more either man like, yeah like you know we, yeah, we don't like, have time to be running around be on the fucking dating scene and shit for mm-hmm. real like find somebody that match your energy you know but what if you generally come across somebody that you like or with somebody that no. you already liked while you was in a relationship, but you never gave them the time of day. And then y'all, you know, you, you link up and then you just need something to take your mind off. I mean, I don't I don't I don't see anything. Wrong You're with using that. that person, though. Yeah. Not you really. Are. You might. But you, you generally are. already like that person. You know what I mean? You're not using them. Well, you, you're, not are su- using you're not supposed them. to like her, though. You are using them. One thousand percent. You know what I'm saying? Like you can wrap it in the prettiest bow you want to. Man. You are at bottom line. I, get that. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? What and it, saying. especially yeah. and it makes it more fucked up when the person expects to have a relationship with you. So give me give me a number. Put a number on it. How many days? How many it hours? It ain't no number of days. How can't, many do weeks? That. can't do it. Can't do it. It ain't none. So the, if can't there's no it. measurement, then you can't say that I'm doing it too soon. If you can't say that I'm I'm not doing it soon enough, then you can't say that I'm doing it too no, soon. It ain't, I, didn't say, you I, I said Again, and I'm not talking about me, of yeah, course, yeah, but I'm just, yeah, just talking not. in general. I said again, if you have any inkling or you have something with the thing you just saying, like, man, I really want, I really, st- I still want that to work. Mm-hmm. I st- my heart or whatever is still there. Mm-hmm. Then it just wouldn't be who of you to yeah. go out and do that shit. Yeah, you yeah, do what the fuck that. you want, but yeah. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? It, it can get messy. Can you live mm-hmm. with it at the end of the day? After it can you get do messy. That Depends on how good it is, and it's going to. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 it's going to get messy for real. It's going to get messy. You know what I'm yeah, yeah, it's always going to get because messy. Because and like we've all said, kind of been in. I, we've, I'm pretty sure we've all been in that situation. You yeah, know what I mean? no you doubt. Know, That's how me. we know not to do not it no me. fucking more. <laughs> not because me. You haven't been oh, in a relationship since. It. Not me, guys. You haven't oh been in a relationship God. in 20 hey, years. Hey, your last fight you. in your last relationship was at around the same time. My last one. fight in your last relationship around the same time. Twenty years. That was good. That was good. You're good. You're good. Mm. You're good at this. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. I don't even know why we've been talking about relationships with this. He can't. He can't. What you mean? I thing. still got. I still got do, input. Do you remember your last relationship? Yeah. So it ended bad. 
Nah, I ain't gonna say it ended bad. You still talk to that person? Y'all still cool? Yeah, we got a child together. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta I be. didn't know that was your last relationship. Yeah. God damn. We got it. Uh, he just <laughs> shit. Then, now he's on his way to college. He just graduated. God damn. Now he's what on I his say, way to college. Twenty years ago. That's seventeen years, sixteen hey, years ago. Man, God listen, damn. I'm very selective. Man. I'm very you ain't selective. Fucking lying. Yeah, either. You know what I'm saying? You got cobwebs and shit on your shit. Huh? Ooh, I just, that's not what I said. I didn't my dad say that. Say that. Yeah, 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 you got it. Everybody. Relax now. Let's slow down. <laughs> get that lid off. He there, might boy. be a virgin again, man. That's, that's not what I'm implying. <laughs> I'm not implying that at all. <laughs> Is there a point in time where, um, if you don't have sex for a point in time, do you become a virgin again? No, no. that's stupid. <laughs> right? No. I heard somebody say that shit before. <laughs> shit. After, after, after five years and not having sex, you're a virgin again. That's man. stupid. Shut up. After, shut up. <laughs> and I don't know nobody that went five years. What? Without having sex. Yeah. I've heard people say it before. I don't think I know anybody. I heard people say it before. Yeah, I don't know nobody. My, my, matter of fact, one of my friends that I was with last night. Um, um, they well, probably the she, meanest she, motherfuckers she, in the world. She said before her last relationship. <laughs> no, she said before her last relationship, um, she went. She was like celibate for like five years. Oh, I mean, it's possible. I just don't. I don't yeah. know him really. But. Yeah, I and I believe her because I was around her at that time. I don't believe I mean? you. Uh, I didn't believe it. <laughs> I, I mean, it's possible. You know what I mean? Man, shit. Yeah. Could, you just, go, how, could you uh, go five years without? No. What's the longest you can go without? I don't know, but not five years. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but not five years. You're right. What's the longest you can go in a relationship? I was watching. Um, <laughs> I was watching. Uh, I was watching the new episodes of BMF, and you know how they go back to the pre when um. Yeah, that shit, <laughs> highlights, and they was talking about which was always highly talked about when um. When uh, Lucille, when uh, Lucille wasn't giving it up to uh, Charles, Charles, yeah, um, <laughs> the way she said that shit, funny as shit. Charles, when she wasn't giving it up, and I thought about that. I was like, because when he said it, he was like, "Damn, we ain't been, we ain't did nothing in three weeks." I said, "God damn, three weeks? Could you go three weeks in a relationship?" Yes. Yeah. I'm talking about with no circumstances, like nothing going on, no period, no none of that. Nothing. I mean, that's a yeah, long time. I mean, yeah, what you gonna do? That's a long time, but <laughs> I mean. It's a long. It's, I mean, it, it is it, a long it, time. It depends it, on the situation. Yeah, and nobody's like, been away from home. It, it has to be a reason why you're yeah, not having sex with your woman for three, for three weeks. weeks. It's got to be. So a reason. It's it's gotta be you something. know what I'm saying? If it's if, if everything it's something, cool and y'all good, like what the fuck? Yeah, is that's going what I'm saying. Yeah. What's going on? That's yeah. how Charles felt. Like, but if things are <laughs> but not what's going on, if things are not what's going on, Charles wouldn't. Charles paying the light bill. Yeah, Charles wasn't doing the light bill. Man, she had to go work at Roy Rogers or something like that. Yeah, Roy Rogers. Roy Rogers. That's what it looked like I think it was Arby's I was or like Rogers seven it was Wendy's to be honest was it Wendy's yeah, it might have been Wendy's yeah oh, when she man. had the ponytails yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That, Charles that back then because you know I was in the 80s god damn it Charles hey Charles got hey Charles said fuck that <laughs> Charles, Charles, got them long, fi- Charles got them long titties put on his yeah, back yeah yeah Charles he, started, okay. he broke he started down. fixing so, somebody else lights and shit <laughs> while we while we while we still talking about it mm-hmm. right so you know, you, you said the good side. What's going on if everything is good and we not having sex for three weeks? Yeah. Okay, so what if everything is bad? I mean, that's but that's 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 normal. That's, that's, that's normal. That's So that's yeah. normal. Okay, so yeah. does that give the what if it turns into six weeks? Oh, Nine. Wrong. Oh, something wrong. I mean, yeah, something's and we still wrong. together. Like, we might not. Are we still on good terms? Or are we? No, you said or? something's going on. Something. What if it, something. Something. Yeah, some underlying problem is going yeah, on. Yeah, you know we got underlying issue like health or just. Underlined. I don't know what the underlying issue is. You know what I'm saying? We got to take health out of it though, because if, you have to understand. If that. I'm with somebody and we go nine weeks, yeah, it's going to be something else going on. Because no, nah, we need to figure this shit out. Like, and if we go nine weeks and and just have an issue for nine weeks, that's a long fucking time. So that's two. What's that? Two months? Three months? I mean, that's like so, two or so, three months. Okay, so it's nine weeks, and you still in a relationship? Are you going to go cheat after nine weeks? Or you gonna try to fix the problem and shit? It's hard to say because you know it not being in that situation, but just hypothetically, we talking. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Nine weeks. I'm either gonna try to fix the problem, we're gonna figure something out. But I got needs. I'm, I mean, I ran out of lotion. I ran out of uh, coconut. Oil. All right. Well, you ran you know out of I mean? lotion and you ran out of corn. coconut and this and that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pour it up st- for a little while. You and know, you still mean? in the relationship. You know what I'm saying? But it's still the same thing. Not, y'all not, not really. fucking, but y'all have hopes of. Still reconciliation, reconciliation yeah. you know what I'm saying, and because you're still things there. together, because right. you're still there. I see yeah, what you're trying to tie it in. That's so yeah. if if you can do it post relationship, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Like it's still it's, that's, it that's a totally different though. To like we not laying go, beside each other every day. 
That's that's true too. If we whatever if we in the bed, land, the, if we in the bed laying beside <clears> each other every day for nine weeks and ain't nothing happened, I'm gonna either think, look, it was going on, you know what I mean? Let's let's sit down and have a talk. When it gets to like three weeks, let's let's have a conversation of what's going on, you know what I mean? Uh, what's going on? Like if I'm trying and and she start and she's not, or vice versa, you know what I mean? If I'm trying and she doesn't want it, or I'm like, what's going on? Are you fucking somebody else? It's not the first thing a man gonna go to. That's the first thing. Or is this, the first, first. You, first you're gonna say, first you're gonna say, is something wrong? Is something going on? You know that I need to know about anything like that. You got an STD. You need to clear up or something oh, like that. Lord. But listen, this like, is mean, you know, three weeks. <laughs> listen, boy, I don't want you no more, girl. You'll be thinking about some shit. Yeah, you but know this, what I mean. This, sound, this sounds like the scenario that is being painted sounds like it's one person doesn't know, like one person is oblivious. Right. Yeah. I think that if there's something going on, both parties know. Yeah, there's what something it is. off yeah, here, right? Absolutely. Is, yeah. right. Um, so with that being said, I know how I am. I, I ask you, gentlemen, mm-hmm. how y'all are in a relationship. If something is off, you're not really vibing with your partner like that. Mm-hmm. Doesn't I mean? I I, I kind of I can almost tell what you're going to say, but doesn't the desire dial back? Because like I ain't really fucking. I'm not really fucking with you right yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I feel so, what you're does, you know what I mean? So I, mean, I probably I don't beer. even want to. I don't even want to fuck just because I got the desire. Like Hold up, but shit is off. I, I can't say because I've been in a relationship with uh, where I couldn't stay. stand the person, but the sex was still good. Yeah, but that's that sounds. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, it was, yeah. but you know the sex was still good. Not saying that I was staying in a relationship because of you know yeah, we were yeah. still working it out, right? But at that point of time, where I didn't really like the person like yeah. that no more, but the sex was still good, and I really wasn't trying to go out there and fool with nobody else. You know what I mean? So uh, okay, let's, cool. let's so handle this. Let's still let's get our nut, and then right. you know so, what I mean? And then we just go back to being mad at each other. Yeah, and that's <laughs> crazy. I can be but, mad. I can, yeah, fuck, I I can fuck mad at you. I'll be like DMX on Belly was. You know what I mean? But see, I'm mm. see, in the I'm, mirror I'm like this. Sliding. Mm. Yeah. yeah in the mirror. So <laughs> some people <laughs> slide some with people video. Like, <laughs> Some people are some people like they just they don't even want to like I don't even want to do that because yeah, I don't want to do that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, even I'm not feeling you, you like that. Right yeah, you know right, yeah, so some people I feel that. Yeah, three weeks. Yeah, I feel that. They'll, yeah. they'll do that. So shit. do you think that it's coming to an end? Being that you know, what I'm saying you're on that. It's probably the beginning to it. If, yeah, pretty if, much. If, if no communication happens to to get to some resolution, yeah. If we, but if we go nine weeks and we don't deal with the issue, and that means we don't want to deal with the issue. I'm I just agree. not into that. I'm yeah. I'm I'm a, I'm a that's a long I'm, I'm a solution based yeah, person. Solu- I'm a solution based person. I'm, I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not a. We. I don't want like a. I don't like to walk around each other. We walk around. Eggshells and lingering. And I'm talking. mad. We ain't talk. Yeah, bro, that I shit hate is the that worst, shit. Bro. And it's I want to hold you. I want to grab you. You know what I mean? I want to hug you. You know what I mean? And whatever not. But we not talking. We mean. I don't like that shit. Yeah, that shit is not cool. disagree with Life that is too bit. short. Life is too short for all that shit. part? I disagree with the um the eggshells thing. You know what I'm saying? What do you mean? Like, the kind of person that I am, say a problem arises. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? We sit down and try to talk about it. Nine times out of ten, you're not going, you know what I'm saying, get to a solution the first time you're going to talk about That's it. True. That's so true. So sometimes it's, it's cool to not say nothing. Walk around on eggshells. Kind of like, I'm probably yeah, trying, trying to get to my thoughts together so I can say it to not. you the right mm-hmm. way instead of, you know what I'm saying? Well, that's uh, fine. That's I wanna, fine. Yeah. I want to give you an opportunity to, to, to realize that I would never hurt you. You know what I'm so sometimes, you know what I mean, I might have to what they say, cooler heads prevail. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's I have to get to that point yeah. again so we can talk about it again. I feel you. And then that. the second time I talk about it, ten times out of ten, we probably gonna come to some kind of you know conclusion or whatever, because I probably Ten talk times about out of ten. Yeah. Every Shit. time for real. I think I think just our definition of walking on eggshells may be different. I'm saying it as like I don't want to say nothing to you, or it's you know what I mean I don't want to disrupt it. Like that's blow up. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. walking on eggshells, in my opinion. I, yeah. I get I get yeah. what the context the way you use. I get it. Right. We get in situations where it's doors just be slamming for no reason at all. Yeah, that's just because yeah, I see you. Yeah, just because I see that. you. Boom! I'm, I'm, I'm sitting That's on the bed crazy. a little harder. I'm flopping around on the bed yeah. when you sleep. <laughs> <laughs> when you sleep. <laughs> I got the TV up loud That's while you're trying wife. to sleep. Yeah, That's come on, man. Are you laughing extra yeah. hard at your homeboy on the phone? Nigga, you crazy, nigga. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Y'all ain't talking about shit. That shit is corny, bro. <laughs> that shit is corny. But I don't corny. know, man. To, I mean, to each his own. But you know, I I, I don't like the. Because once it gets to, I can take a day of just us not talking and, you know, communicating that's cool. and shit like that's that. That's cool. That's going to happen. When it gets to, like, the third, fourth day, then let's, we need to figure out. And if we don't, don't figure it out, then it we is. need to figure out what's going on. That's probably not going to go that long for me, though. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I just, I probably came off the first time, you know what I'm saying, without thinking about this shit fully. 
Mm-hmm. And then I might not say nothing for a little bit, yeah. but then when I say something to you again or whatever, then you know what I'm saying we should be able to, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's good to have that calm down moment to just take time and to take the space to yourselves. You know, that's what the mean? adult just take way. The space to yourselves and everything like that. Because if you keep but, talking about it initially, for real, it's somebody gonna it depends on who you with. Whose job is it to break the ice? You know what I mean? Because I'm the icebreaker. I'm the I'm the person. Whoever is ready, like, to I'm the talk. person that's gonna be like, look, we need to figure this out. Look what's going on. You want something to eat? You hungry? I know you are mad at me, but you know what I mean. Blah blah blah. Let's. I'm, that's me. You know what I mean. I don't think. I don't think it's a set job. Like no, I, I was. I, like I, that. I always use sports just for like life. So I say someone has to be the point guard. Mm-hmm. Someone has to see the whole court and understand. Like all right, this is what needs to you happen. You had this talk with people. So whoever get there you. first, basically. You had this talk with people before. It's like you talk to a panel. <laughs> you talk to a panel about this shit before. Listen, that was, man, that just this, came out too smooth. This, this, <laughs> it's just it's my life, man. This is how this is how I do things. From man. a guy Somebody, who hasn't been in a relationship in twenty seven years. Hey, and that's why I'm very selective. I oh. understand. I know exactly what I want. I know what I need. I know what I require. I know everything that I want in a relationship. So until I come across that. It is what it is. If your son's mom was there ever watch the show and they hear you, she probably throw something at the TV. Shut your stupid ass. <laughs> yeah, look, I'm gonna tell you something. Me and my son's mom don't have like the greatest of relationship. Course, yeah. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But it ain't the worst either. Mm-hmm. Like, it's we mm-hmm. we both have uh, some skin in the game as far as who did what or mm-hmm. how, like of course, yeah. That's who, always who, be. who handled things poorly. Mm-hmm. Like, we both have a fair share. I, I'll mm-hmm. put it that way. Um, but like nah Anything that I say If she sees anything That I say Like she's like Yeah that's yeah, exactly yeah. What it is Like with us Like it's <clears throat> Like our Our relationship Is very It's very uh, what's, It's very sensitive mm-hmm. Like we could be Having a cool Case in point We were talking This morning About some stuff For, for my son As far mm-hmm. as Scholarships And things like that mm-hmm. A conversation About our kid Is cool No problem mm-hmm. at all a small wrinkle of anything outside of that mm. can make our conversation yeah, go crazy. crazy. Yeah. I, that goes, but the yeah. thing is, though, <laughs> we both know that. Mm-hmm. So we stay away from certain topics mm-hmm. the best way that we can. Yeah. We we think before we speak to one another because we are triggers to one mm-hmm. another. And we can go like that. Oh, it's still some shit from back in the you day. Know what I mean, yeah, it can yeah, go, yeah, it can go like that. Like and we know that. You're so, bitter. You're you know bitter. <laughs> Like me, I'm bitter. <laughs> I'm not bitter at all. I want to start a fight right now, yeah. I really, I want to argue right now. What's the word? What's the word? Huh? What's the word? Ah, shit, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> cat skill or some yeah, shit like that. Like the word and everything. Cat Let me look at my phone. Yeah, yeah, get the word. I but just yeah. learned it. I'm telling you, I just learned it. Bro, I just learned it. Yeah, but yeah. crestfallen. I'm crestfallen. really crestfallen. You're really crestfallen. That might, that's that's gonna be the name of this yeah. pod. Crestfallen. I, I guarantee I can help you. Crestfallen. I guarantee I can. We've been trying all him. fucking day. He ain't, he ain't trying he to. Ain't try to receive. He, he don't want to do this. He right ain't here. trying to receive. He doesn't want to do it. <laughs> he ain't trying <laughs> helping me. I thought I thought breaking my sobriety was gonna help me, but it just means nah. That's the wrong answer, brother. For a little bit of time, though, I felt okay. Well, a little bit of time I felt okay. And that's, for a little bit of time I felt that's okay. That's what liquor's supposed to do. You needed a shoulder after that. That's what liquor's supposed to do. That's what you said earlier. I needed a shoulder. Yeah, I needed a couple shoulders. Shoulder shoulder. Bro, I guarantee I, I had like you, I had like six. Well, I had what four pairs of shoulders last night. Mm. You know what I mean, yeah. So and then my shoulders. guys, then my guys called me, to make sure I was good. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, yeah that's so good. That's good. I got a good circle of people. You know what I mean? That's good. Support system. Well, you know, hey, you need a good support system, man. We can help. You need a good support system. How would y'all? That's the subject again too. How would y'all support system? Like when you're going through something, whether it be financially, mentally, whatever, do you feel like you have a good support system around you? I feel like I have a good support system. I'm just bad at using it. Explain. Expound on that. I'm a very, I don't, I don't lean. I don't ask. I don't put my problems on anybody else. Unless I'm just dead in the dirt mm-hmm. and I have no other mm-hmm. choice. Yeah, I'm like that too. So I'm, I, I definitely have a support system. <laughs> Call stubborn. Call, you're stubborn. It, may, it could be Stoic. That. Still stoic in a way. Could be that. Yeah, yeah. it could be stubborn. Stubborn may be the word. I don't mm-hmm. know if that's it, but it could be. But I definitely, I know I got people that I can lean on and I can call and I can do that too. I'm just bad at using it. Okay. okay. So how do you handle um, the situation when you when you do it that way? Uh, So I'm a very mm-hmm. uh, solution-based. I, mm-hmm. I think it through to myself. I kind of, I, I, I kind of just sit with it. Right. Whatever it is, I sit with it mm-hmm. and I think it through and I come up with whatever plan, solution. Um, if it's something that's too big for me to to do that by myself with, I, I will reach out. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like especially when it comes to like um, like death. I don't do death very well. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Um, uh, just any anything like that where it's like, yeah, I can I can sit with it, that emotion, but mm-hmm. 
I need to. I don't know. I just like talk, I, I don't like talking to people that have no idea or yeah, just yeah, can't yeah, relate. Yeah. It. Like if you ain't never been through. What, yeah, if, you, if you can't relate to what I'm talking about, I don't want. Yeah, because you're just gonna say the same bullshit. Yeah, some cliche yeah, shit. Yeah, and yeah, I don't want to hear that shit. Yeah, especially when it comes to death. But yeah, I, what about I'm, you? I'm the same way. I, I internalize. I, yeah, I keep yeah. it to myself, and I try to um to like figure it out myself. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But if I can't, then I have the perfect people to talk to. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, so yeah, so like I said, I got I got a great support system. I just don't. I'm bad at using. Yeah, it. yeah. You just yeah. use it. It's like almost like a last minute thing. Yeah, use it. yeah. And, the ones. And, yeah. And my support system. I think most system, men are probably like that for real. My support system knows that about me, so sometimes they'll bogart. They reach out. You, you yeah, just what's yeah. up? Yeah. Yo, you just I know, read me yeah. for real you know because I, mean? I would just get ready to say. The people that I be around, they gonna bring it out of me because mm-hmm. they already shit for real and be like, "What's wrong?" Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, uh, yep. Like, I'm good. Uh, no, I, no, no, you not, motherfucker. I can see it. My sister, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. My little sister for real. Like, mm-hmm. she'll look right at me for real and can see it. Yeah, you know yep. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like, my circle knows. Like, you know, like uh, one of my one of my best friends. Uh, his birthday was yesterday. He passed. Right. Poom. Poom. Mm-hmm. And then oh, um, man, rest, uh, in rest in peace, yeah, rest Poon, in peace man. man. Um, and then my father's <clears throat> birthday is March 13th. Mm, so that's close my, together. Yeah, my friends yeah. reach out to me because they know I'm. A, I'll go into my cave. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Won't nobody hear nothing from me because I'm. But I'm just chilling. Yeah, I'm just, right. I just need to yeah. be to myself. Right. And they know mm-hmm. that. So I get a text. You good? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. So I and I really appreciate that. that yeah, they do that. Yeah, I was great to say, man. Like it's a lot of people that don't <clears throat> have that. Yeah, my you know kids. My kids seem they real good at sensing something is going on. Mm-hmm. Like my son called me last night. He was like, "Dad, you all right? You good? You out? You know what I mean?" To I did talk to, I think I talked to all my kids besides one yesterday, mm-hmm. as far as over the phone, but like, um, they'll, he'll call me and be like, the dad, you are, right? you good? It's a certain type of time. If you know, I, if he know I ain't home a certain type of time, or yeah. if I didn't check in, if I didn't yell at him or, or, <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Ask him about if they took the trash out or they, you know what I mean? Something like that. Something's off. They know right? something's off and something is going on. So <laughs> yeah. I got them. And then, you know, my friends, of course, my homies, you know what I mean? Um, my mom every now and then when I talk to her, um, my dad was there for me real mm-hmm. heavy before he passed. Like my dad, mm-hmm. I could always call my dad, and he could he he, and he would call me too and be like, "Yo, you good? You know what I mean? Something going on? Come down, come cut my hair so we can have a talk or whatever." Not you know what I mean? type of thing. So I got I feel like I got a good sis. I feel like I'm good, but I'm like y'all in a in a sense like I it has to be like I'll ball up in the corner and lock myself in my room and just be in my in my zone like yo I need to be out in the streets tonight you know what I mean yeah. y'all, y'all come out with me man you know what I mean they'll be like well what's going on like what you done did now first thing first when, first I, when thing I contacted is, my homie let, what you yo, did. yeah yeah like yo what you doing yo, what's up uh, alright then what you done did now right I'm like right. damn, why it gotta be me? I ain't do nothing, you know what yeah. I mean? But and it was that type of joint. So we went to dinner. We even had a good time last night, for real. It's a, it's sad that it has to come to those things for me really get my friends together for us to, you know, what I mean hang out or anything like that. Because we all busy and everything like that. Yeah. But I'm glad that I they are able to take the time out for me if I need them. You know what I mean? Just just to talk and just to be out. So it's gonna be fun. enough time for that for your <laughs> real ones and shit. For yeah, real. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do y'all have anybody around y'all that that you know what I mean try to like like say you did some fucked up shit? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And you know it, mm. but you trying to like you know do you, do you like talk? What would you ever have a conversation with somebody that would agree with you even though you know you was wrong? I robbed the bank, yo. I, I like I like that's I, what's up, yo. I love my niggas and my <laughs> I love my niggas and my homie and my homegirls because they give me their unbiased opinion. If I'm wrong, they yeah, tell me I'm yeah, fucking dead wrong, right. and I do the same thing with them. Like I wanna I wanna know if you and and I'll reach out to them for that. Like if I like with yep. uh, like with the situation I. Reach out to them, say anything out there with you, you know what I mean, and run you down the situation. And I'm like, young, yeah, because I look for any type of fault. Am I wrong in this situation? Right. Could I have did something? Should I have did something? Right. You know what I mean? Am right. I wrong in this situation? And then it just go from there. You yep. know what I mean? So I'm gonna tell you. Yeah. And that's what I want to hear. Like some people can't take that shit though. Yeah. Some people like they want to be wanna right. they, they take it. it as an attack. Nah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, I, I, I love to you, them. bro. Exactly. I, but I gotta hold you accountable. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now <laughs> now they hit him. Now you know I gotta go. I want, I want, I want, I want the toxic shit. He out there playing around. He out there macking. Do you pull your guy to the side and be like, "Yes, young bro"? Yeah. You know what I mean. You don't yes. want to do that. You know what I mean. Yes. Once you don't want to do that. You said you once, once. Once. You know what I mean. How do you do that? How do you approach that? Yeah, situation? I'm not. I'm not finna drag you out or no shit. But mm-hmm. I'm definitely gonna let you know, like mm-hmm. nigga. Well, uh, let me holler at you real quick. Yeah, let real, me holler you know at you. Saying? Like, you, you bugging right now. Yeah. Especially if you friends with her too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah nah, man. yeah. We, yeah, we, bro, my circle, man. Yeah, we don't. We hold each other accountable. That's bro. good. That's what's if good. I ain't friends with, I ain't gonna. And I've been around y'all, and I know y'all like that. You know what I mean? We hold each other. Like it's even like 
like I, it kind of goes away from, but it's just how tight my my friend group is. Like mm-hmm. if like when my son plays football, if they lose, like I'm bad with in that moment what to say to him because I'm my mind is like I don't want to say no. Sh- if I just lost a game, it's some shit you I don't want to hear that. down type. No, shit. no, yeah. not even that. Like I don't want to hear certain shit in this moment right now mm-hmm. because. So I'm thinking like, all right, I don't know what to say because I don't want to say no shit that he don't want to hear. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be cliche. Mm-hmm. I'm bad at that. In mm-hmm. hindsight, I'm great. <laughs> yeah. But so my, my 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 man sleep, he'll step in and he knows what to say mm-hmm. in that moment. So, you know what I mean? It's just look like we trust each other with our kids, how yeah. to uh-huh. dialogue. Like even with his son playing sports, they just mm-hmm. lost a big game and the son committed a foul like with one second left. Oh, they man. shot free throws and they won. Uh-huh. So he took that like, damn, I like, yeah, he, I, yeah. he's a sophomore. So yeah. mm-hmm. I sent him a message like, yo, <clears throat> you know what I mean? Just to, so that's, that's how we do. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, that's just a piece of an example, but we hold each other accountable. Mm-hmm. We're there for each other. You know what I mean? It's kind of- that's what's up. Yeah. Moving pieces like that's that, you know what I'm saying? I want I wanted to ask you something if you don't mind speaking on mm-hmm. it. Um about about your pop, right? Mm-hmm. When 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 he transitioned, how did you feel how old were you first? This was only maybe a couple years ago. Okay. Twenty what, what's this, twenty four? This twenty four. He passed in twenty one. Okay. I think it was twenty one, twenty twenty one or twenty two. I think it was twenty one. I think it was. I think it was twenty one. I think so. I think it was twenty one. Yeah. yeah. How do you? How do? You, and this is what. And, and my pop passed. Oh nine. It'll be three years in August. Yeah. So yeah, twenty one it was. So I'm I'm still struggling with this. Mm-hmm. So I I, I just want to ask you maybe is it something that you've thought about? Mm-hmm. How? What are you doing? Or how do you? Because you know I mean when losing your your pop like that's the person that. It, it, Your foundation, is, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Y'all right. move the same, yeah, y'all, yeah. Kind of, you know what I mean. So <clears throat> that's your OG. So mm-hmm. without that, there, what are you doing to like, like, who can you go to that knows you the best? Like, oh, what do you do question. with yourself? Like, that's a good question. I'm finding it very hard to, like, I'm always giving advice to someone. Yeah. I'm always listening. But to when someone. you need. Advice. I don't. I don't have a. I don't have it. Uh, OG anymore. Like, like it's it's older guys that I'm associates mm-hmm. with. They come to me for mm-hmm. shit. Like I'm that for them. Yeah. I don't have a person that can. Like I can go to. Dad, I'm struggling with this. I don't, I don't have that yeah. at all. So what do you what do you do? We make we make jokes about certain things sometimes. Like with Dre. Dre is like that for me. You know what I mean. Dre mm-hmm. is a, a couple couple years older than me, and Dre is like that for me. Like, okay. Dre. A lot of shit he says is very mature when I want to say some immature shit. Right. You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, like, Dre is that for me, you know what I mean? And we, we've been knowing each other for 20, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Around each other for 20 years. But, like, all my, my uncles are gone, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that, my dad only had one brother and he passed away before my dad did. Same my man. aunts, I can, my aunts would probably put, my, like, I can lean on my aunts a little bit. Like, my <laughs> aunts are very uh, like that. Um, but as far as an OG, as far as just one of the, uh, you know what I mean just I don't know man my granddads are gone I really don't I'm like you I really yeah. don't have nobody like that yeah so, you know I, I, I feel mean? very I really lost yeah. when it comes to that um, even figuring stuff <clears throat> like life shit out something mm-hmm. that he's already gone through Been so through, he yeah, has that yeah, knowledge yeah. I don't have like I don't have that and I haven't had that but, since but he instilled so many different things Tools. in me yeah. that still resonates to this day that I can go back to our conversations before and that's dope you know what I mean that's and, dope. And, and, and that helps me out in some ways like even with dealing with relationships or situations or, or my kids and stuff like that you know what I mean I can still go back to some of our old conversations that I remember um, and where he told me some shit and it really made a difference in how I moved and shit like that. You know that's what I mean? dope. Even when, even with having kids, you know what I mean? Cause my father was one of those fathers that even though I felt like he could have been there more and did more in hindsight, he was there, you know what I mean? Every phone call that's dope. when I was in prison, if I needed something, you know what I mean? He, you know what I mean? I, you know, just every, everything. Cause I lived with my father up until I was like 12. You know what I mean? I, I was actually, almost until I came to the shore. You know what I mean? I okay. lived with my dad. So, you know what I mean? Uh, maybe a couple years before then. I lived with my dad up until I was 10. Then I went with my mom for two years before we moved here. So, um, so but everything up until there, and then he was always in communication. He didn't come down here a lot because he mm. hated Merlin. Right. Like, he couldn't, st- you know, for some reason. And my dad is well traveled. Like no I said, he Merle. was a military guy, so he was okay. well traveled, but for some reason, he despised coming to Merlin. <laughs> I don't know if it's a bad situation. I don't yeah. know what it was. Maybe that's because, you know what I mean? Where he, he was an OG. He yeah. probably remembered the but, racism here, but shit, back in the day. Yeah, that's true, too. Probably. That's true, too. Yeah, yeah. that's true, too. Because, you, know um, you know, he lived in Chocolate City all, he lived in DC all his life. He loved DC to death, you know what I mean? 
change. And, and I was trying to actually get him before he passed when his health started failing a lot. I was trying to get him to move here. Mm. You know what I mean? With me, we was trying to set him up a nice space and everything like that. But mm. then, and he was actually considering it before he passed. But you know what I mean? But yeah, like, I don't know, man. So. I thought, man, I, well, I mean, unfortunate, but I, I mean, you were blessed to have him as long as you had him. Yeah. Um, I think that that's, I mean, that's that's yeah. a blessing in itself. Like, so I, I, I lost my, when I was 30, I'm just getting into the mix of being yeah, a dad. That's still and, young to lose. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's so still young, yeah. That period, that window from 30 mm -hmm. to 40, dog, like I, I needed him bad. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of the stuff is like just, I have to do it by myself. Yeah, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. So that, that part was hard. So I just wanted to know. I can like, imagine. Yeah. 30, you know 30, if I lost my dad when I was 30, and when I was 30, I was probably making that transition of really, really becoming, really, really just making that transition of becoming a man. A real man. You know what I mean? Really, like, yeah. like, cause you in your twenties, anyway. I don't count nothing that a nigga doing his twenties. Right. Even though some kids, like my sons, I'm proud of them. They, in mm -hmm. their twenties, they're doing really good, way better than I was That's doing. That's because of what you, you know showed what I mean? them. Exactly. Though. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. they doing, you know what I mean? They doing way better than I was doing when I was in my twenties. Well, that leg start hurting like a month. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah. But like, really? you know, um, where was I at? Uh, where was I at? Uh, the 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 thirties, like yeah, 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 yeah. That's the time when I was really starting to become a man and start thinking about career wise right. and family and right. shit like that. You know what I mean? So I couldn't imagine losing him around that time because I really, really needed him then. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. And it was some a few times financially that I needed him. You know, he looked out when I first when I first started my first business. My dad was the one that initially gave me the uh, the startup money and everything like that. You know oh, what I mean? And oh, he told me you ain't got to pay it back. You know what I mean? Everything like that. And I would do the same thing for my kids, of course, if mm -hmm. I got it. But right. like he was the one that really believed in me to that point to where here. You know what I mean? And not saying that he even had really had it like that, but he would give me his last right. if he knew it would help me get that much further. You know what I mean? That's dope, I'm forever man. grateful for that, man. Yeah. Well, forever, <clears> man so. I, I still had my father for real. Yeah. Um, Wu Tang. He's actually like my best friend for real. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Bless you. But I got so much love around me, man, for real. Like I will always be straight. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like I got my uncles, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, those father figures mm -hmm. also. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like yeah. they never had to be a father, mm -hmm. but they chose that role, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. to make sure I was straight for real. So yeah. um, another thing I was going to say is, um, if y'all fathers was great to y'all, mm. they still here. Mm, cause they they did their job yeah. because they made great <clears throat> sons. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look, look how he made you, you know what I mean, be a good father. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To your kids and to your kids, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and all the stuff that, that you learned from him. Eventually we became that because we wasn't it, the best at the beginning. You know? I mean, yeah. I mean, relationships take time for yeah. real. Like, it doesn't mm -hmm. even matter. Like, I always tell people, it doesn't matter what your title is for real. Mm -hmm. Like, you can leave today. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For real. Like, mom, dad, mm -hmm. sister, that shit don't mean nothing to me, for mm -hmm. real. You know what I'm saying? But um, if they, you know what I mean, taught you anything for real, mm -hmm. good. You know what I'm saying? Like, celebrate that, yo. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Always have, like, great <clears throat> memories and shit, yeah. for real. Like, the bad ones made y'all have good ones. Do y'all think, like, because I got brothers that fathers, you know, my father, my father took my oldest brother as his own. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, and raised him, and he still called. You know what I mean? That's that was his son. Right. Mm -hmm. Like he don't know no other father. He met his real biological, I think, one or a couple times when he was younger, mm -hmm. but he couldn't tell you what they even looked like <clears> if <throat> he was to see him. You know what I mean? Do y'all think how different do you think it would be if you didn't never had your father in your life? If you was one of those kids that we see that that never had your father in their life, that don't know their father. Let me go first. <clears throat> like. My mom was great, yeah. Mm -hmm. I would be straight. You think you think you would still be good? I would be mean as a motherfucker. Because though. I mean, because it's a certain thing that a father. <laughs> it's a certain, it's certain instincts and certain values that a father, if he's there, instills in you. You know what I mean? I don't know what I would be if I was just with my mom. I'm not saying that because, like I said, this is all hypothetical because we don't know for sure. But if I was just with my mom, as much as she let me run around and just pretty much, you know what I mean, skip school. All of that kind of shit, and I didn't have the support um, that I had from my father. Like I don't know where I would be. Uh, I would be fucked up for real. I my know mom I was. I, I, I could see it. I would be fucked my, up. My mom. I'd have made a one. lot of stupid, a lot more stupid mistakes than I fucking made. A lot more, probably thousands of more mistakes than I made. 
you know what I mean, not having that ground, you know what I mean, not having that, that, that ground floor, not having that foundation. But I told you my mom was the one who <clears throat> taught me the structure for real. Mm-hmm. When I went to my dad, it was blackout time. <laughs> like, I'm serious. Like, uh, I seen mm-hmm. so much shit that I wasn't supposed to see mm-hmm. when I was that age or whatever, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But I was supposed to see it. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. You know what I mean? So it, that's that's yeah. where that balance comes in. My mom taught me the structure for real, but mm-hmm. if I only had that side, I probably would be that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But being that I had both or whatever, I knew how to, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. sit in the middle for real and be like, yeah, nah, fuck that yeah. over there and shit. And then oh, on, on this side for real, like, oh yeah, my mom's, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? It was like, yeah, you know, she taught me that, whatever. I'm gonna use that, you know what I'm saying? I told you, everything that I ever learned good came from a woman. Did your mom talk bad about your father? Never. Uh, you, you never heard your dad? Because she couldn't. Mm. My dad has always been there. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I wasn't, I went to school with my moms and shit for real, mm. majority of my life. You know what I'm saying? Well, my majority of my school years. I mm. went to school with my dad some years. Just a couple, though. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But mostly it was with my moms. You know what I mean? So, you know. Yeah. I would have, uh, um, probably similar to, similar to you a little bit. Mm. I, if I, If it was just, just if I just stayed with my mom the entire time, mm-hmm. I would have been in some shit. Cause mom worked at night. Yeah. Oh man. You know yeah. I mean, she worked overnight, so oh, she went to shit. work at eleven and oh, home. It's party time every night. Bruh. And I was just sleep. I'm not sleeping. Oh, this was like eighth wow. grade, so I'm. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm way wherever. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I actually, so, I actually lost my train of thought a while ago too. But I said I, I went to school with my mom for a majority of my years. But when it, the weekend, holiday, Christmas, summer. Mm-hmm. Day, yeah. yeah. So, That's a lot so, of time. <clears throat> I would I would have definitely been more outside than I should have been. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, if I didn't have like the second half, I think I moved with my dad at the right time. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean those formative, really teenage years for mm-hmm. real. Like I, that's. But like you said, I seen a lot of shit I wasn't supposed to see. Too. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, I and yeah. my dad had me around some shit I shouldn't have been around. But I also think that kind of. Um, even though you you shouldn't see it, but you need to see it because it's yeah. the world. It's you know what I mean. Yeah. You can't just shield and keep like you gotta. You know what I mean. You gotta kinda, pull, pull back that curtain and I, got, I need to see that shit. I got a memory of my dad. I remember um, every weekend was just our time because my dad worked a lot. You know what I mean. Sometimes he worked overnight too. Sometimes you know what mm. I mean. So, but every weekend my dad we we had a routine. We would go to laundromat. He would take us to McDonald's. The McDonald's right in the laundromat. We'd have breakfast there. At McDonald's. You know what I mean. Then we'll go out and we'll just be gone all weekend. And we and we had a living stepmom, like you know what I mean, everything like that. But she let him go. We were going all week. Said that like she was the maid. <laughs> no, 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 no. We had a living stepmom. Like said that, living yeah, stepmom. Yeah. I called her mom. Yeah, like like they lived together. He lived with. Oh, you know, okay. We lived. Yeah, we had a stepmom. She wasn't just with us, cleaning the windows. And no, shit. no, 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 no. Okay. She didn't work though. She didn't work or anything like that. Like my dad worked, paid all the bills. Oh, he was old school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so maybe that was why he was able to run around. But he, you know, he know he we he know we she knew that these was our weekends. So right. we either, we were either go to my granddad's house and do the whole family thing. Like that was the thing we had that That's we had that structure where over the weekend everybody, my aunts, cousins, all of us would just be at my granddad's house and my great grandma house. You know what I mean? And we was have dinner. Yeah. They'd be in the basement drinking and playing cards and shit. We running all around all over the place. You know what I mean? Making the ruckus, you know what I mean? And all that kind of shit. So that was dope. But I do remember some of those Saturdays, <laughs> hmm. we would go to this project. You know what I mean? We would go to this <clears throat> this, this certain building and dad would be like, okay, you know what I mean? Uh, um, your friend coming outside, you know what I mean? This little girl used to come outside. She was our age. We'd play with her in her neighborhood and shit. Dad would disappear for about an hour or two. <laughs> <laughs> I later found out, you know what I mean, mm. who he was going to see and shit like that. Yeah. But I, I never forget that, yeah. <laughs> this happened numerous times, yo. Bro, shit, yeah, fathers are the funniest. Yeah. Yeah. My dad was the king of that shit. Bro, like, Yo, I would be in somebody's play. living room. Uh-huh. Dad be gone for about an hour and a yeah, half. Yeah. In the back or upstairs. Uh-huh. Pop down, maybe... 20 minutes. Yeah. You good? You good? You good? You good? Right. Yeah. You again. Here, get, here, take this bag of chips. I'm sitting here just yeah. Yeah, eating whatever I want, watching some shit. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pops is pops is roll. I miss my pops. Man. I, yeah, I'll be right back. Yeah. That's a, I'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> ain't no, I'm right yeah. back. It's Shout two out hours to later. OG, man. Shout yeah, out no to OG, shit, man. bro. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what, though? That's funny that you said, you know what I mean, with your pop and, and y'all had a thing where you got family all get together, y'all, and all that. You know you do that now. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I try. Yeah, I was yeah, gonna say yeah, the same shit. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, I try. Yeah, I do. I do. I do. Yeah. I, I I try to get the family together every now and then because yeah. I got the space. You know what I mean? Yeah. I try to do it, but. Ever since my pots and pans got stole last, uh, oh, last shit, summer, man. I haven't had an event <laughs> since. Bitch, you banned. I had an event since. You know how much money no I spent on that last event? Yo, it was a big, you know what I mean? I, did I invite you? Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. You ain't come it was here, big, though. Yeah, yeah I bet you. But it was, it was a fun day. Hot ass, fun ass mm-hmm. day. It was a hot, fun day. A lot of family going on. I might do it again this year if, if I'm still here. But I, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm still here, not here in the physical, but just here. In you see what I'm period. saying? Like now, in you this keep house, doing that. We gonna get still, it. You don't. If want, I'm still here, you either want to get in or you, you know don't want to. Get if I'm still in this house, you know what I mean. If I get my own, if I get my own side of the house or something, maybe I'll just take my own side. Maybe I'll just move in here. I'm gonna move all my shit in here. I'm just gonna be. I'll be in here so much anyway. I might just you know me move all my shit. Lord, I can I can fix it. Huh? I can fix it. I don't know, man. That's just we, me. Yeah, we, yeah. We, we don't want to. I'm good. Yeah, we. we yeah. I don't want to. I, yeah. We, you I got definitely, some, I some definitely great can't advice around you and shit. But yeah, I mean, whatever works out, works out. You know what I mean? Uh, but it is, it's all good. It's not, it's, it's, it's all good. Life is life. <laughs> life or life. I'm going to cut some of this shit out. <laughs> you know what I mean? But <laughs> I know life is life. And you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, I let, I let yeah. energy do what it do. You know what I mean? What, what, what you, what, I mean, what can you do though? Because, I'm one of the people that don't really believe in depression because I, up until a certain point, I never really recognized that I, if I was going through a depression or a, a stress state or something like that. I know what heavy stress is. You know what I mean? Like the day before getting kicked out of my house and shit like that. You know what I mean? I know what that stress is, but I never felt that depression where I felt like I needed to ball up and just couldn't function and needed to take pills or self-medicate or anything like that. Like I've never, I mean, and I mean for a long period of time, it may wash over for like maybe like a day or two or something like that. But I mean, how you know how some people go into a deep depression where that shit can last for weeks and months. I never understood that. You know what I mean? All right. So I say, say that then. Yeah. Yeah. Instead yeah. of saying, I don't believe in it. No. Oh, that's what I meant. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, but you, yeah. I mean, if you don't understand it, you don't believe in it. That's not true. That is true. I don't think that even goes together. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, I understand the concept of Santa Claus. But I don't believe in it. I don't understand the concept. It's trash because there's so many different concepts. But anyway, that's for another. So the, yeah, I mean, yeah. but that's all I'm yeah, saying. I like, what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, like, yeah, I get I that. Yeah. I don't understand that. I'm yeah. not gonna say I don't believe in it because it is a real thing. Mm-hmm. I just may not. I don't understand it because I haven't personally gone through. Girl, it. I haven't. I haven't right. experienced you know it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can't say that I have either. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But I, it, I, I feel like I have uh, what they would call. Uh, mental toughness for real mm. and, and i was raised that way by my mom and my father for real yeah and my mom has always told me um no matter what you've been through you always made it past it mm-hmm. yeah doesn't and that, matter what it is and, that, and that's yeah. and that's and that's, that's good fire. Yeah. that's dope I, so. I i think like this i feel like i feel like i'm a mentally tough person too i mm-hmm. persevered through a lot of shit right but i also feel like i don't think nobody is above anything you know what I'm saying? It's true. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. You're I f- right. I feel like, uh, I mean, if you haven't gone through certain things, be thankful that you haven't. Yeah. But yeah. don't ever feel like that shit can never. See, you know what I'm and, saying? But see, that's my whole thing with it because it's like, um, I have the, I have the thing like, okay, the world, the, I still have to live. I still okay. have to be strong for my little ones. You know People what I mean? I still have you, to right. live. Right. So I can't take and take a week off of work. You know what I mean? And but that's that's the degree that you think depression is. No, they're, no, no, they're, no, no. I don't mean that. I mean just like where something is just something so something in your mind irks your soul so bad where you can't get on you like you can't find that happiness. You yeah. can't find and you you find negativity in every single thing. You understand what I'm saying? Like yeah. I, me, I pride myself being a positive thinking. I, I I I try to find the positive in every single thing that happens in my life. That's no matter how too, negative it is. Yeah. And, and, and the example of that is like when I say like, if I was to get into a car accident mm-hmm. and I walked away from it, I survived, yeah, the car tore up, most people would be like, damn, I ain't got no car. I can't make it to work. I'm just going to say I'm blessed that I'm still here. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? So that's the positive. Car. Yeah, I can get another car. I'm still here, walk away. So I'm not going to, I'm going to be upset that the car is gone, but I'm more blessed that I'm still here more than anything. You understand what I'm saying? So I that's what it. I mean. And I try to I try to implement that in every part of my life. You know what I mean? In every single part of my life. There are millions as and hard millions as it is, you know what I mean? And possibly billions and billions of people 
that cannot do what you just described. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But why is that though? Because everyone is everyone is different. Even you saying that, my brain is going to. All right, that sounds great in theory. That sounds like the right way to be. I did right. say try. I didn't say it always the case, but I said try. That's my philosophy in any situation that I look. But at. you right. But when I, you say it, you make it sound like it's it's uh, something easy. For, it, it should be easy it's, for everybody. It yeah. takes practice. And it should. It takes practice, but though. But some people can't even get their thought process together mm-hmm. enough to, you know what I'm saying, be able to handle a situation like yeah. that. There's different mm-hmm. levels of, uh, uh, and I'm I'm trying to understand exactly what you're saying and I'm mm-hmm. listening to you. But I, I think that, and I'm and correct me if I'm wrong, <clears throat> I think that you equate depression with a certain thing. No, I, depression was just one as just one example. I mean, just mental health or 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 uh, mental dis- disability. Period. Okay, but I st- I still feel like you thinking that is like you're equating it to a certain level. It's all like there's people that go to work. It's people that work with you or you see every day as happy as can be, mm-hmm. depressed as hell, and you don't yeah. even know it. Yeah. So it's it's different levels, levels and yeah, waves yeah, yeah. of it. True. Like you know, what I mean, you ever. Heard of a story where someone like takes their life and you be like, damn, dude, he was mm-hmm. like he was the life of the yeah, yeah, yeah. mm-hmm. right. That shit is a but you real, don't know what, what, what it's a real through, thing. Yeah. It's, right. it's definitely yeah. a real thing. But see, I think when it gets to that situation, and it's just me talking, don't hold me to this, that because I've been I've never been suicidal. I've never mm-hmm. been wanting to self transition or nothing like that. I think that's a new word for self transitioning. So. I've never been wanting to self transition or anything like that. I've never had that feeling before. I've thought about like I, I wonder what people will think if I was to pass away, mm-hmm. right? And then what people would think of me, how I would things function. That's normal. Like I that. think that's a normal. You know what I mean? Thought. Just yeah. thinking about your own mortality. But yeah. I, I've never been, I've never been suicidal. Not you know what I mean? But I've been in a place where I just felt so down. Like you know what I mean? Like damn man, what the fuck I'm gonna do? How I'm gonna get out this? You know what I mean? Ask but I, and why. I always go back to this thing that my uncle used to say. Cause my uncle was in a depression state one time, and he just he said he woke up one day and he was like, you know what? Why am I why am I doing this? I could I could win the fucking lot. I can hit the lottery tomorrow. You, you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that was his model. Once I heard him say that, I was like, yo, that's true. You never know what's going to happen tomorrow. Your day can get better anytime. Why I need to pick myself up and. You know, you gotta you gotta bring that stuff into fruition yourself. You can't wait for something to pull you out of the dirt or anything like that. I don't want to be walking around miserable all day. Mm. What helps you me is asking saying? myself the question for mm. real. What are you depressed about? Yeah, you you many things. There's many things that can put you in that for state. For myself. But, yeah. What are you depressed about? Why are you depressed about it? Mm. Yeah. And what you gonna do about it? Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. so someone has to have the mental fortitude to be able to sit in that mm. and diagnose and that and really yeah. do and that's why I say like I'm um like I feel like I'm really great at that because mm-hmm. I'm bad at using my support system. Yeah. Right. I do that often. Yeah. I'm always like, all right. You know what I mean? So I, I'll give you an example. So I, I think it's a form of depression or whatever low state or however you mm-hmm. put it. For myself, and I'll share here, for myself, I I used to have a, a problem with I feel like I'm there for so many people. Mm-hmm. I do a lot for so many mm-hmm. people. And I used to feel like that should be reciprocated. Yeah. People should just it be. Should it be. should be. Yeah, right? It should be. So even down to my kids, I feel like I used to do so much always for them. Always with the kids. That's yeah, always they be, never yeah. really, pre- until later yeah, on. They, yeah. Right. And I, um, I mean, even adults in my life, I feel mm-hmm. like I've given so much and I felt like, well, damn, no one really sees mm-hmm. me. No one gives a fuck. Yeah. Like that shit after a while doing that so much for years, that shit can fuck with you. I was yeah. in that state maybe just like a couple months ago. Yeah, that shit can fuck with you. So I was like, young, like all the all the 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 work and things that I put in there. By you don't feel you you get a sense of not feeling appreciated. Yes, and that you shit can eat that, away with that, that will fuck you sure. up. Yeah, that that fucked me up for a little bit. So that <clears> can <throat> also that if you don't deal with it and sit with it mm-hmm. and understand what that is, mm-hmm. that shit can snowball into yeah, some bigger yeah, shit. Yeah, that that's true. It, that can turn that into true. some depression shit. Yeah, you feel like, well, shit. What the fuck am I here for? That type of mm-hmm. all yeah. that type of shit can happen. Or it makes you just want to be like, you know what? I'm not showing no love no more. Because that's yeah, what the point where can, I got at. Then you can turn to I a bitter to the cold point, I got to the point where it's like, you know what? 
Nobody appreciates the shit that I'm doing. I'm not doing shit for none of y'all right. anymore. I'm I'm just gonna be to myself and do my own thing. But as it, but as I thought about it, I was like, I can't do that. Yeah, because you know why? That. Because that's not I took you. on that role. Yeah, yeah and I took on that role. And that's yeah. not who you are at home. Yeah. So you know, what I mean, it's it's a lot of different things, man. Like, yeah, I, I think depression is a real thing. It and is I, a real and thing. I, and yeah, I I'm see, not saying it ain't. I can not. see how people get there. Now it's just what's within that person that can make them yeah, get through yeah, that shit. Yeah, you know right. what I'm saying? I think with me, I've been through. I'm, I'm, my bad. I've been. I think. I, I think with me, and honestly, it's been the fact that I've been through so much shit already, and I was able to overcome that shit. That yeah, I don't so think it's nothing I can't. Yeah, overcome. you got some yeah. arm on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. So it's like, I, man, I've been put out. I've been had lights cut off for, you know what I mean, uh, weeks at a time, shit like that. And mm. I was able to persevere, and I had a support system at that time. You know what I right. mean. You know. You know yeah. what I mean. So like, you know, and. Being kicked out of my own place, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Lies being told on, protective orders, all kinds of crazy shit. Even when I was in prison mm-hmm. at 16 mm-hmm. years old, you know what I mean? So it was like I done been I done overcame so much shit that it's like now, like what what else can what else can you throw at me right. that I can't? You got overcome? some armor. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? So you know how many people that are depressed that have everything? Yeah. Yeah. That that's, that's real true. too. That's true. Kids today. That's why yeah. you, that's that's, <laughs> that's, why, that's why that's sure. why true. They that's, don't have to worry about a damn thing. But that's why you're able to get past a lot of things now because you've had life experiences. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And a lot of people that are depressed have never been broke before. Mm-hmm. They've never been hungry before. They've never not had a ride somewhere before or not yeah. been able to you know, do whatever the fuck they want to do mm-hmm. and then shit taken away from them. Yeah, because they depressed. Think about like the, um, you know what, I'm saying? what was Miss Doubtfire name? Or Robin Williams? Yeah. Oh, man. He was on top of the world for a long funniest time. Funniest motherfucker, you know I mean? one of the funniest I mean, they people self, ever. He self-transitioned, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you think like, damn, like, he, every time it? you seen him, he was always smiling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. What was it like, and you had all the fame, you had all the money in the world, what was it that made, like, you know what I mean? Like, you, know, you yeah. don't understand, I don't I don't understand yeah. it. Like, I, 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 don't, imagine, I don't get it. Like, and maybe I'm, it's not for me to understand. You know what I mean? I don't ever want to be at that point where I, I need to understand it. Yeah. You, you feel what I'm saying? We've, you know what I'm saying, like throughout our life, I don't know what everybody's financial state has ever been. You know what I'm saying? Broke. But we all broke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm broke right now. I'm broke as a mother. I'm broke as but shit. But imagine, though, having all the money in the world. Mm-hmm. Everybody want to be your friend. Mm-hmm. Everybody want to be your cousin. Everybody yeah. want to fuck you. Everybody want to, you know what I'm saying, be by you and then you know it's not genuine mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying like they're using you like oh, we yeah. was talking about you know what I mean a few minutes ago yeah, or whatever like yeah. you're you're using this person for you know personal gain or whatever mm-hmm. you know what I mean that can be depressing yeah. because yeah. you don't that's know true. that's true you don't know who the fuck is around you for real yeah, like true. are you only here because I got money yeah yeah no I get it I yeah, get I'm it true. I understand you know what I'm it totally. it's, it's all kinds of different scenarios yeah. you know what I'm saying but but if you got that level of financial freedom and you got that level of, you got a certain level of power that comes with a, fr- a certain financial freedom <clears throat> you don't have to have them people around you you know what I mean that's like, not how like they when you get you to that point though. like like and that was something that I had to do for myself as well I felt like I had people around me that was backbiting that was you know what I mean mm-hmm. when it, when you, when when it turned around they you call you trying to cause commotion between me and my relationship or me and my kids like you're doing certain things mm-hmm. sneaky shit lies you know and then like and and then I know when you're around me you're talking about other family members or other people so I know that when I when, when you you're around me. them you talking yeah. about me about them and I just had to get those people away like from this me and shit. yeah I had to get those people away from me you know what I mean and that made a big difference in my life so you know you have the right to know you know you have the right to control the people that's around you if you don't feel appreciated or if you don't feel like they're there for you you know what I mean I think that just to to put a a bow on that I think that we have the tendency to be like oh all you gotta do is this Mm. That's what make it sound easy. Yeah, 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 I, mean, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. think it's. I, I think you gotta whoever the person is, if you can mm-hmm. sit with them, understand it, and then maybe explain it to them. They, yeah. they may not have came up with that those tools mm-hmm. to be able to yeah. just be like, oh, well, I just need to get these people mm-hmm. away from me. They yeah. may not know how to do that shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's just you know. Yeah. But see, that goes back to the thing. I I I adopted the philosophy. I don't expect everybody to think like me. Or to have the same morals they or not. values or anything like that. I Everybody was raised it. different, man. I, I just don't saying? expect it. If somebody do something, some backstabbing shit, it's almost like, okay, I'm, I'm not surprised by it because I know what people are capable of. 
So, but you are, so I would say that you, you feel also, what I'm saying? yeah, yeah. I, I would say you also have to carry that same ideology when it comes to how someone deals with something. Yeah, yeah. The same yeah. way it would ease, you feel like, well, this is just what I would have did. Yeah, yeah. You got to have that same shit with them. Like, they're not me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. So, I understand. So, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. You anybody know, just, anybody just, that don't want to be with me or around me, it's like, let me stop. <laughs> <See>? <laughs> we fell off the track yeah. here. God damn it. I'm bitter, cuz. I'm yeah, bitter. Fuck of, everybody. You fell off the track. Fuck the love. The art of opinion. Fuck relationships. We Harry, the fuck relationship. We help stay people single. Here. We try to help people we here. We try to. We try to get people on the right track. We here. have said a lot of positive things to this. Yeah, if I get turned loose, boy. But this man is craft singles or whatever that if, shit if is. If I get turned loose, <laughs> 24 is like no, if, I get, if I get turned loose, I'm going to be like one of those dogs that been on a chain in the yard for, oh, you know what I mean, for a long Lord. time. You know how when you let him off the chain, he start running around there where you can't get him back. Look, you got to get the dog bowl to get him back. You know what I mean? full of shit. That's you full of nah, shit. Nah, 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 nah. Full nah, nah, of nah. I don't, want, I don't want. I don't want to be that person. I don't. They're gonna be, be like, "Look at this motherfucker." I'm gonna become a little whore. <laughs> Nigga, seventy five years old, <laughs> still <laughs> chasing women. What the I'm hell? Become a little whore. Hell nah, yo, know, all that youth I seen in the bar last night. No, I don't ever want to go back to well, that life. Where the fuck was you at? Uh, Tiger Lily. Oh, I knew that. I'm something in my brain was like, "It had to be there." <laughs> nah, that Tiger ain't, Lily. Nah, that's hell, to tell you Tiger something Lily. about me. What the fuck is that? It's, it's a, a, a little spotting. A little spotting. Bro, I walked in there one time. Saw my daughter in there before she saw me. I said, "Oh no, oh, yeah, I'm out. Yeah, I'm out of here." I didn't know, and that I never went time. back there again. That's my bro. first time ever going out out there. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, where we at on time? Yeah, because you know me, I can talk. Shit, I don't know, goddamn. I can talk forever. It's twelve forty nine. Damn, damn, we've been at three hours. Yeah, I can talk forever, but you know what I mean. Any Anything other? else y'all want to cover? What, what, was, what else is good? What's else going on? When we gonna do the joint, yeah? Whenever we need ready. to find like a day. You Whenever y'all ready. The music shit. Yeah. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know. It ain't uh, gonna be so, hard for uh, me. So, all right, so what's the rules? What's the rules? The rules is what? We pick a category. You pick a category. You gotta make sure you pick the right years though, because you sound like he was kind of confused I, I'm about. What you pick? So 96, you 97, 97, 98. Okay. That's the first one we gonna start with. The year. We, the first one we start with. And we, the year. Uh, so the year, and we're picking what out of that year? Like the like probably like songs, ten, just, fifteen songs, the best songs. ten, the the best songs. 10 yeah, out of that yeah, year. the best okay. ten. Yeah. So that'll that be the you, first that thing. you feel yeah. is the best. So that'll be the first thing. Yeah. And then right. you said something about female rapper. Her, her, her that'll be, that that'd be, be the same. That's a whole day. different category. That's what I'm saying. That'll be a whole different show. So the first one we doing that. The year. Yeah. We pick the best ten songs out of that segment of the year. Yeah. All right. All right. So so how's this on is, video? We're gonna, gonna do it. We, hard can, in we can do it on video. We can do the video and we can play parts of the song, but on audio, all the full songs will be on the audio. Oh well, we can just do audio then. That's true too. They know I'm handsome. They ain't got to say me all the time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm trying to think how to. All right, okay. All right. You can just, I mean, kind of look up the albums. We, and you'll once you look up the albums, because sometimes, sometimes in years, like when I looked up 91, 92, it was albums on there that I forgot that came out those years. Mm -hmm. That's going to be the difficult part. Y'all think it's going to be easy. Y'all forgot you know I saying? got Cube, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, I, got what you got? I got death certificate. I got death certificate. I don't care what you oh, my God. Cube can't touch none of my top 10. I got death certificate. Shit. He can't touch none of my top 10. You pick a whole albums? I'm talking about no, songs. no. I'm just talking no, about okay, 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 I'm just talking about certain joints off of albums. Yeah, you know? If you don't play yeah, colorblind, yeah. you fired. I'm, don't worry about what I'm. Playing. If you worry play about colorblind, you, you fired. <laughs> worry about what you're gonna play. Worry about you playing. I, and I <laughs> everyday people. <laughs> oh man, that was 90, 94, 95. No. What year was that? What year that came? Oh, that no. came out like ninety three. That was middle school time. Yeah, for sure. that came out like ninety three. I remember uh, we first got cable. Music then. puts me in what grade I was. We in. first got our box. Then we first got the box stealing cable like a cool. mother. The red numbers. <laughs> Press that button. We had HBO, Cinemax, <laughs> Showtime, porn, porn, and some other weird, <laughs> and some other weird station. I think it was Playboy, uh, Penthouse, and some other weird uh, 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 joint. Might have been Nickelodeon or some shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah damn, Nickelodeon. That's yeah. Good. That's the, that was the only cable we had. We that's the only channels we needed. Oh man, I forgot who I was gonna say. When the last um, time you watched BET? Oh man, fuck a BET. I don't watch this shit. Bro. <laughs> Remember when you used to? That was the first. I don't really thing watch you, TV. To be but, uh, but in teenage years, that's all we watched. BET. Yep. MTV when they start yeah, playing hip hop yep. like that. BET. Rap City yeah, Basement. Rap City. Yeah. 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 That was yeah. it. Your MTV raps. When the last time you watched a music video? Shit, I don't know. I don't watch. I, I watch. Man. I watch him. I watch him for real. But I don't like the niggas. Like I said, the ones I'll be talking about, they still putting out videos. It's songs you know that I love and rappers that I love that I can't even tell you what the fuck they look like because I ain't seen their oh, video. That's crazy. Yeah, like, I ain't like, seen Sonny, like, yeah, Sonny, yeah. like Sonny Sheba. <laughs> nah, I know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 
Yo, I love assholes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the other day when we watched some videos, that was the first time I sat and watched some videos in a long time. You know what I mean? Songs that I know the whole song, but I don't. I ain't never even seen a video. You know what I mean? I ain't never. Yeah, videos, I don't right? watch videos. But videos are yeah. videos still important for songs. I no. guess unless and maybe if it's a concept song mm. like it's a telling a story that's kind of cool when was the last time you seen that though the last one I seen that was good was the Jonah Lucas joint oh the, the Will the joint with the, the Will dude Smith from, um, from, from The Wire yo no not the Will Smith the Will Smith Wire. joint that Will Smith video was hard the dude from, not, the dude from Ghost from, uh, from, from yes Rotini yo that shit that oh, video was hard where yeah, Rotini was, was rapping yeah, 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 when yeah, they yeah. was at the table yeah, Rotini was rapping yeah that was hard being his brother yeah that was fire that was fire that's the last video I saw that's somebody that don't when I hear top 20s they don't put Jordan Lucas in there but he is a lyricist he is because they kind of rope him in with Eminem, Eminem and, and, shit. and, and yeah, you know I mean? he sounded more okay. like voice to me than Eminem. Yeah. So this is to my me, take you on know it. Mean? This is my take. You can really count on nigga trash. He's trash because he crossed <laughs> yeah, the yeah, rank to yeah. a level of success, and now <laughs> when he's, he made that, you know, he when he made that old no. Willie no. Mad Will yeah. Smith shit. No, that's that's not what I was gonna say. <laughs> was it gonna it say, might be in that area. Yeah, you didn't like the Will Smith song. Will Smith. Right. That Will Smith joint, he was on Will Smith. No, no, I'm talking about the joint that Jordan Lucas did. Talking about, call my, call my, so call my I am Will. Jiggy. No, all right, that joint was all right. Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna give you some examples. Man, if I ever hear you playing some Will Smith and it ain't parents that don't understand, nigga, I'm gonna laugh. Yeah, yeah. brand new phone. Oh, summertime yeah, yeah. get burned. Summertime, yeah, brand yeah, new yeah, phone. Yeah. Summertime always gonna get played. Brand new phone. Yeah. Brand new phone. Oh yeah, that's I think I could beat Mike Tyson. Yeah, yeah, Nightmare, 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 Nightmare on My Street. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gonna be playing the Wild Wild West shit? <laughs> I used to live downtown. No, you talking about? No, you talking about? I'm talking about Will talking Smith. About, Wild Wild, 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 Wild West. Go <laughs> Wild West Street. Where's Cisco in it? That was he. I forgot Cisco was on that shit. Yo, you be playing the Wild Wild West shit? Why you remember? Oh, that Men in Black. No, it was fire. That when that Men in Black song was trash. Yeah, Alright, so this is I what I hated was, that fucking song. This yeah. is what I was gonna I say. I hated that whole Willennium album. That shit was called Willennium. And, Willennium. And, and, and I'm, I'm gonna on, give man. you I'm gonna give you my examples of and then I'm gonna tell you why I say, you know what I'm saying, people don't really rock with Johnny Lucas like that. All right, good. Okay. You got Johnny Lucas. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put logic in there. <sighs> I, no. I, I can't. I can't uh, hold on. I hate no, it. Hold on. I hated that whole yeah. shit he did hold, with his dad. Shit. That, that shit. You, that nigga shit. Yeah, go, 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 brother. We're sorry, brother. I'm We're giving sorry. examples. Good. I'm even gonna put um, Kendrick and J Cole in there. Right. Mm. Might be a couple of more people mm-hmm. and shit for real. Uh, 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 oh, Joey Badass. Like um, Chris Rivers. You know what I'm saying? You know. You know these people. Yeah, yeah. Big pun song. Okay. Mm-hmm. So those people. Straddle the fence of hip hop and whatever that shit is over there. <laughs> what the fuck is he talking about? What shit, yo? What are you talking about? J. Cole, you know, if he pick up a mic and you give him a beat, he gonna go crazy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But then he'll come out with a song with 21 Savage. <laughs> I hate 21 or he'll Savage, come man. out with a song with. What's, the, what's that new song a he lot got of out? People fuck with 21 Savage. What's that Savage, new song though? he got out? That verse that he with did? That, with that beat. That oh, because you ain't had no drums. But the lyrics was no, fat. The, the lyrics the, was fat. Oh, okay. Who are you talking about? Who, who are you talking about? Cole? Talking about, uh, Cole? Uh, uh, no. Uh, 21? 21, yeah. Oh, he got I don't a know. new song out right now. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? I like that shit for real. Call I ain't Red even going to front. I think it's called Red Room. There you go. That's the name of the album, ain't it? That's the name of the song, I like too. That, yeah. I like that song. I like the beat. Mm-hmm. And then he just doing this thing on it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, you know, we know his, with it, you know, his talent. Yeah, level. Oh, that's, I think that's the last video. That video fire, too. Yeah. Yeah. So... Those people straddle the fence. They will put out a hot song for us. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. A dope, you know what I mean? Spit. They spit, spit mm-hmm. on here. And then over here, they dumb themselves down. Oh, well, that's everybody but in the that's world. that's everybody in the industry. It's not everybody in the world. Jada do the same thing. Jada Kiss does that shit. How many albums do you play full through none. of a Jada Kiss? None. none. Exactly. <laughs> none. That's my fucking point. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. These people. All J- of them do it, though, bro. Jada Kiss will eat you. We know pause. this. Yeah, pause. Slow down. Slow pause. Down. Yeah, yeah, pause. <laughs> Major. <laughs> Slow down. Major. Yeah, yeah. Slow down. yeah, yeah, Bust yeah, the yeah. Stop the tape. One, Bust of, one, of, one of the dopest rappers ever. I think. Bust. I know what you. I see what you're saying when you say Buster. You know they straddle mean? the fence, yo. Cat. You didn't like the Joe Janet Jackson? Buster Rhymes is not the what? greatest lyricist ever. The Buster, the Buster oh, Janet Jackson. Oh, one of them. I will. We'll go outside the front yard, <laughs> yo. I'm, I'm just clean. saying. No. I'm here to turn it up. No. no. I'm sorry. No. Wanna wanna make your body my name. Check this out. 
Check this out. That video was fire though. Let's talk about let's talk about Buster Rhymes. Ass. Let's let's call Buster Rhymes to the front of the pool. Yeah, Buster's nice, calling to the front. Buster nice, huh? Yeah. Look at me now, verse. What did he say? Look at me now. Who's that? <laughs> Okay. Oh. Oh. If you break it down, he really was saying some shit in there. He no, was. he wasn't. Huh? No, he wasn't, bro. He said every time I got it, something getting gonna keep it going. But that's that's not my point. My point is this. Buster Rhymes is not it's nothing lyrical it's like oh the bar, it's no bar that you be like that bar was fire he got a lot of those hold up hold up he don't, hold up hold up hold up hold up what was the joint His where his cadence is fire what was the joint where uh, what, the, what was the, the album where um, the first and the first come on mm, time showing up with you yo, with level. the rhythm as I get rigged dick extinction wrong. level no that wasn't extinction level event that was the nah. that was the first one Um, uh, extinction level first event Pilot has the the best beats I've ever heard. Like that, them beats that was crazy. Uh, uh, um, the um, so you taking the away from scenario and you taking away from L- all right. No, L- let's, let's, talk about, about, let's talk about new Let's talk about scenario. Story. Let's talk you about scenario. You didn't, you, didn't, you didn't say he. What is he saying on scenario? <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about it. Since we want to do it, the Buster Rhymes verse. As I wish I, we had like a. He screen. said, "As I combine with the truth from some the mind." He up, up, beat up, up, bring it back, come rewind. Powerful, powerful impact. impact, boom from the cannon. The squadron, this is Not something, something that they imagine. Well, they're too very Vocab necessary. You very necessary something, when something digging into library. my library. Oh my god, oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Yeah. Something to be with well, a charge on. Uh, party with uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking at y'all. What the fuck? Bust around. Nah, bro. Like a dungeon dragon. See, the dirt is yours because your pants are sagging. Get the fuck out of here, You might have a point, guys. But the shit sounds fire. Thank you. I don't Buster's care. cadence is fire. fire when it came His out. cadence yeah. is fire. Yeah. That, that's way, style. Yeah. But he don't be saying yeah. shit, yes, bro. Yes, he does. It Yo, was just Buster's that song not, where he was fucking around on it, apparently. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, then, give me a song where he really supposed to be getting that. Sob right. Story. He, he, gave you, yeah, he gave you a little, you know what I'm saying? He gave you something. Fuck Sob Story. Look, yeah. check this out. <laughs> check this out. Let's go to, let's, all right, go to, go to uh, Flavor and Gear Remix. What are you talking about? What, what are you saying, Flavor Year? The flavors in your ass grease. <laughs> I'm about to make the noise no cease. Yep. Let me loose from the, the belly, belly of the beast. beast. Ah, everybody, hey, hey, hey. But listen, hey, but listen, but listen, but listen you got to go to, like, I see Buster as they sort of like. They try to shoot him bell. I, I ain't no, shooting no, that nigga no, no bell. <laughs> I see Buster as more like I, the same way I see, like, Old Dirty. You know right, what I mean? right. All right, that's so are you right. saying Old Dirty is Dirty? That's right. their style. Who? But we know Old Dirty. Yes, he is. I've heard Old Dirty spit on some yes, shit. Yes, he I've is. I've heard him sp- You've heard okay. Old Dirty go crazy on some shit. I got, shit. Yeah. listen, okay. I know Old Dirty does have some, like, all right, yes. he's actually rapping here. Right. Old Dirty can oh, the rap. God, yes. Who's the shit from the law? Dirty bastard from the Wu-Tang store. Can I get war? Yes, I get dirty. Yo, mama. Ain't that his shit right yeah. there? Cool. But then, yeah. oh, uh, you, then ignore. Oh, it's more. To me, it's like a... Bur- he, yeah, he, I know. I, I know the ones dirty 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 I'm about, I'm about dirty to break y'all niggas' hearts, though. For real. When dirty it comes to Buster Rhymes. My heart, man. I'm about to bust y'all, break y'all niggas' hearts real quick. Go ahead. Jizzle wrote his rhymes and shit. For real. Jizzle wrote Buster Rhymes rhymes? On what? No. He wrote Dirty's rhymes. Oh, just wrote. I'm not oh, gonna say he wrote that. all of them. I can believe that. But he yeah, wrote, yeah, that's not. That's not gonna break my heart. I'm like, okay, no, that makes sense. It breaks Damn. my heart because oh. you're supposed to write your own shit. Yes, no, I don't no, give no, a fuck no. who you are. I okay, can't, I can't believe that because Jizz and Jizz, if if Jizz wrote dirty wrong, dirty would have sounded a whole lot better. Yeah, I believe it. But we're not gonna escape this, Buster Rhymes. We not. I, I, you don't I, be saying I, shit, bro. I feel what you're and, coming and from. And I understand yeah, you are just you. you are in this upper echelon, and you are hip hop, no, no, whatever, no, whatever. No, he don't a, be saying shit. Everybody is an expert in their own right. Is it depends on what no, you like? Don't nobody you know put Buster. Then nobody got Buster in the top twenty. As far no, as he's not in mine. Nobody. He's not. He's not in my top fifty. He's not a lyrical rapper. He's not a lyrical rapper. He's a Dougie Fresh that can spit. Dougie Fresh is the greatest entertainer ever. I don't give a fuck who you go see in concert. Man, no, but back to what saying. I was saying, then, then you, you you are proving my point, though. You know what I'm saying? What? By, by you saying what you're saying about Buster Rhymes, right? Buster Rhymes, you know what I mean, got some albums where he spit on. You know what I mean? And then he got some albums where he was... Entertaining. Know, just yeah, entertaining. entertaining yeah. You know what I'm saying? He not a straddle defense, though. He just asked me a question. Do you like the Janet Jackson song? Fuck no, I don't like that shit. 
gonna make, gonna make, gonna make your body. <laughs> I don't like that. Buster that video Rhymes. was fire though. They I don't, spent like I don't ten like million the dollars on the video. I think I don't like the Buster Rhymes that now that he's trying to connect with these trash motherfuckers for real and trying no, to co-sign. I don't, like I don't, I don't like that shit for I real. I like that joint he did with uh, with R.J. Payne. That joint hard. Did you hear that? We're talking about spitters now. Oh, okay. R.J. Payne is a spitter. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So Buster Rhymes gonna spit too. But you know what I mean? When you get on songs with motherfuckers that you know is gum under your fucking shoe, why are you doing songs with them niggas, yo? Mm-hmm. Why are you dumbing yourself down doing that shit for real? When you can, you so nice for real, you can create your own fucking lane and stay in that lane and kill shit and still get your paper. Yeah. Buster need them niggas, man. Yeah. You think you do? Yeah, yeah think so. man. You don't think, think so. he established enough? Who checking? Who checking for Buster right now? For he me, he's established enough where he can start doing mm-hmm. some other shit besides music. Yo, that you got you got. He sounds like, sound like he got some fire coming though. Buster got away that? with giving us that's this bull. He got away. He got away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay? yeah. He got his money. <laughs> we let him go. He got scot free. Now yeah. go do some other shit. Mm-hmm. You keep putting out music. Motherfuckers gonna catch on. Like wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. What are you saying? He ain't saying shit. Yo. He's spitting on this on the on the last joint he put out there. Like, yeah, but I just wanted to put that out there. Y'all yeah, can yeah. kill you me right, in the comments yeah. if you like. You might, you Buster might got Rhymes an argument, yeah. not like you, you that, might got bro. an argument, yeah. He ain't saying oh, shit. Oh, you definitely got, got one of them. You got <laughs> you an got argument. argument. You might cool. got an argument. That, now that but, you put it that way. But what you're saying is a lot of niggas that's like that. What you're saying has relevance, though. That was bullshit. Diggable planets? That was bullshit. To be keeping back to my rap. We elevate at the sweet of cat naps. I don't know what the fuck she's talking about. Do the bug. Do the bug. ship will oh, lift it off the class. Though, do the bug. Oh do the bug. She's still doing music, too. She's so fine. She, she do R&B, R&B now. Fuck. That was bullshit. She do R&B now. He said, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> this mad Hold shit on. that was oh, oh, bullshit. Oh, Proswell. Pros from oh, the Fuji. Yo. <laughs> yeah. He hate that nigga. Hey, yo. Proswell. Oh, Pros from the Fuji's. I'm cool with it. He man, he was the benefit of just having some good friends that when he got in the group. I'm trying to think of I'm some to, motherfuckers that we hold dear that got away with some bullshit. Oh, I'm gonna tell you out. somebody else. I should come here with a list next time. I'm gonna oh, tell yeah. you somebody else, and he said it himself. Mm-hmm. And he's one of my favorite. Well, Nori. Rappers. Nah. Remember when Nori dumbed this shit down? Nor- Nori CNN, all the CNN projects. Nori was when, when Nori yeah. first came out, that choppy yeah. flow was it was yeah. it was, and he was saying, but then after like, yeah, like super thug and all that. I ain't like that shit. I like I don't like that super thug. But you ain't like that. What 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 what? That that super thug. I like the song. I like the song. I didn't really care for the lyrics. Crazy. I like the song though. I like the song. The people that straddle the fence. I don't like that shit, man. Like. I think you know man, what I mean that as people well, you don't like no music ever then every artist <laughs> True. does it right it, it, besides, it. besides the one that have that cult following and that's just what they do it for mm-hmm. the cult following that they've created and they tore off of that those are the ones that I can't name thousand, one, they I don't straddle but I can't name none of my favorite lyrics every artist straddles the I can't fence, name bro. none of my favorite lyrics even with Griselda sometimes cuz they dumb their shit down sometimes too and go a little slower and Make some, you know what I mean? Not Mm-mm. party joints. Like you don't hear him making party joints, but that's not dumbing it down to me. Yeah. You mean like if if you if you give you know what I'm saying somebody a slow beat for real, just because they rhyming slow don't mean they ain't killing that shit. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But if you give somebody a fucking beat that I can make on that fucking glass table over there, and then <laughs> Craig you know Mack no drum, Craig Mack with no drums. Too. Nah, Craig, Craig Mack no. Craig Mack can spit. His yeah. album was his album was, was solid. They don't get enough credit for his album. His album was solid. What he's what he's what he did wasn't he? saying shit though. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. But see, but that whole it's era bullshit. was like that before Biggie came around. And Biggie even. <laughs> I'm so about, glad you said it. Biggie even talks shit about that shit in the that's in the, in why the I picked yeah. 97, 98. Yeah. Because every, during talk, that time, niggas really are saying some shit. You know, it was the, mad shit in the early 90s. Niggas was just saying you know, in the whatever fra- the in fuck. The, I think was it the Flavor Year got, remix where Biggie actually talked shit about Craig Mack in the I joint? Got, I got yeah, it. Ready. He it. I yeah, got he was like, yeah. Good. I got the year ready to die. Ready to die came out in 96. Congratulations. No, it didn't. 96. It came out in 95. Congratulations. Did it? You I'm got not, one there. I'm not, I'm not even going to pick one you big song. You got one there. Congratulations. You I should. Probably, I probably you better. pick one big song you from the album. You better. Nah. All right. Nah. All right. Nah. Mm-hmm. You better. We're going to pick Warning. No. Let me, let's me let close out real quick. Let's, let's, close, out. let's, close, let's out. close out. Let's close out. Let's close out. All right, man. I know we talked a lot of hip hop, a lot of mental shit. A we lot was of all over the fucking man's place thing. Yeah, we was all over the place today, but fuck it. You know what I mean? I'm bitter, motherfuckers. Fuck I want to give shit. a shout oh, out to my homegirl, yeah. Shaq, and yeah. Anave, and my grandkids, of course, and my kids, and the Tar Heels again for letting me wear this beautiful baby blue again today on this good old Sunday. When this come out, the I a- forgot my broom, you know what I'm saying? When but, this uh, come out, the ACC tournament and all that shit gonna be over and they gonna be already done. So and we I winning that too because we number one seeded. <laughs> 
and we won the uh, and, and we won the ACC tournament this year. I mean the uh, the ACC uh, regular season championship what, this year. What's up? What you saying? You got some shout outs? You got some shout outs? Yeah, man. I just want to <laughs> give a, a shout out to myself. Um, <laughs> thankful for me. And you know everything that I've done for me, so you know thank me? you, thank you. I fuck with that, yeah. Appreciate that. That was you a Snoop. Didn't Snoop name his album that one time? Like, I want to thank myself. That's uh, another maybe, conversation yeah. we can have. Oh, I got Snoop too. Trash. I got Chronic. Trash. I got the Chronic. Trash. The chronic? Do you think the Chronic album was trash? No. Oh, I, I think, say I, I got think Snoop is trash. You deep cover. First, you think the first album, Doggy Style, was trash? That's that was it. When that deep cover yeah, comes, when grand that, opening, grand no close. When that, deep, when, that deep, when that deep, when that deep cover come on, you gotta listen to it. Yeah. When that deep that cover a, comes on, was you gotta album was grand yeah. opening, grand closing. Yeah, and he knew it. That's why he's in, become marketing genius and everything else. And don't forget, corrupt. He had some slaps in between there though. When did dog food come out? I don't know. Like ninety six, I want to say. Wanna you say. ever oh, listen man. to Drop It Like It's Hot? Nigga, you ever just listen to? I it? like the beat. You ever just listen to what he talking about? No, he don't talk about shit. Cement shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah he ain't say shit. <laughs> he ain't say shit in there. But the beat, the, <laughs> the beat carried it. You know what I mean? Some beats, <laughs> certain, yo, certain these beats rappers that we hold up, bro. Yeah, they should not. Be but yo. again, nobody. Snoop is probably the most famous rapper ever. Yeah, that's because he marketed. Yeah, but like marketing genius, nobody ever Chihudo. set to put Snoop like in their Snoop, top. Everybody knows Snoop. Ever. All everybody anywhere. knows Snoop. True, yeah, yeah. He was on bro. TV. He, he had a show with Martha Stewart. Yeah, but he's everywhere. I mean, <laughs> I think they were smashing too for real. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, he was definitely smashing Martha. He was squeezing them. Rick little, Ross was them trying to. Buns. Rick Ross was on Martha heavy. Yeah. Was yeah. You ever see that shit that Rick Ross episode? Rick Ross was on Martha. No, he was on her. He was on her. Yeah, he was on her. That nigga funny as shit. But anyway, let's close. This out, man. Y'all know what it is. Art of opinion, man. Till next time. Till next time, man. Everybody do all be that good stuff. and stay safe and don't do, be like this yeah. nigga and be toxic all your life bitter, and shit for I'm real. Like, yeah, find yeah, some bitter. positivity Look, in your day. Creflo Dollar. What, did, what are you again? He Cre- said Creflo Dollar. Cre- <laughs> what is he? Call that nigga a I dirty preacher. A, I might be a, <laughs> I might be a <laughs> single cigarette out the pack, cuz I'm a Lucy. Oh, Lord. You I'm a Lucy. Yeah, yeah, I'm a Lucy. Let me get one, cuz. Let me get one. Yeah, let me get one. All right, But anyway, man, do all that stuff they tell you to do. Like, comment, subscribe. You know what I mean? Talk yeah, shit yeah. about us, whatever not. Comment. You know what I mean? Yeah. Make you know sure I mean? you share because we yeah. do. Yeah, share. For real. I mean, Don't talk too crazy, but yeah. do, you, do yeah. your thing. Hey, watch your DMs. They say what they want to say for real. Yeah, look well, out for me. Let me catch you at the stove, though, nigga. <laughs> look out for me in your DMs. Look out for me in your DMs. You know what I mean? All right, we out. We good. We out. He done fell off the track at the last end. We out. These are all jokes, but some of this shit may very well be true. Oh, he done fell off the track again.